Hi guys. <laughs> Sorry about the like, um, any of you who showed up here at the top of the hour might have been like, Wormst? Where's, where's my good old Dodger content? Where's that at? I was promised uh, 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 Jesse and Dodger shenanigans. Where am's they? Uh, here we are. <laughs> um, basically, Jesse was doing a thing and got uh, uh, fully invested in it and didn't realize what time it was. So um, I was feeling a little sleepy. So uh, I threw caution to the wind and took a power nap, which is always a mistake for me. So this is post power nap Dodger. And I'm going to be playing We Were Here Forever with um, editing Jesse. It's going to be a beautiful thing. Sure, blame Jesse. I will. I will. Joke's on you. I already did. Boom. <laughs> Andy was great last night. Yeah. I'm bummed because I am going to be um, missing the finale, but I'll be back for the epilogue. What can you do? You know? It is what it is. We came up with, like, we figured out what it is that I'm going to have been doing. Or like why I won't be there uh, but I think pretty much like the general undercity storyline like the the big the overall one I think it got wrapped up that's what the DM said but it's hilarious because if you if you like I was there for what I think was the end but I I was not privy to what happened <laughs> so I was like oh it's over hmm X great. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> oh, the later part. Yeah, you're right. Just kidding. Later we sleep. Later we dine in hell. Mm, I don't know if they're if they're doing that like kind of kind of it might depend on player action, but um, they might be they might be trying to stagger like what happens on the maps so that if you need to be involved in more than one like kind of finale, so to speak, you can be or I don't know. I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, technically next week is the finale um, and then the episode after that is the epilogue. Uh, but yeah, um, a lot happened in the Undercity, and then the last hour was, like, completely quiet. <laughs> you could have had a great excuse to miss if you had been at the Sanctum at the right time. I don't know what that means. Um, it's hilarious when you, like, don't know a lot of stuff about what's going on with other characters. Um, apparently, uh, we goof about about moral eating people. Um, apparently, there's straight up, there is a character, um, Catbug's new character, like, tries to eat people all the time. <laughs> and I was like, yo, I need to, I need to properly meet this person because I'm edible. <laughs> My character is edible. And this poor soul doesn't know that. Like, you know? <laughs> I know there's a couple people in the wasteland that, that also uh, attempt to eat people, but... <coughs> But yeah. 
Um, I made a couple new things last session, so that was nice. So I got to go to the clinic. I finally rolled well enough to be able to go in the clinic. <laughs> and gave them my new things. And then after session had to be like, I won't be there. I won't be there next session. So um, I hope you don't need more of either of these. <laughs> Jesse says, Dunzo, let me set up. Great. How's the house viewing? <gasps> oh my god. We um yeah, we uh we put an offer on a house. Ah! Which is crazy. Um, so wish us luck. We're in a we're in a really good position because we're first time buyers, which is always preferable. Um, because we're we're not in a chain, quote end quote. Um so uh, yeah, we're like, we're really hoping, um, we're kind of fighting somebody else for it who already put an offer down. Oh, so we'll see, but yeah, um, Sam took his mom to see it today and his mom was like, yeah, absolutely. You guys should 100% fucking go for this. And Sam was like, great. We agree. <laughs> Which is nuts. Oh my God. That's so crazy. So we'll see. No, so a, ch a chain, I had never heard of this term until I moved here, but basically like a chain means that you are trying to buy a house while also trying to sell a house. And so you will be waiting on a person who is moving into your house and you need to move out of your house to move into your new house, but the person who you're buying a house from needs to move out of their house to move into their new house, right? So like the chain reaction of people basically swapping houses. <laughs> um, so the reason that it's preferable if you are not in a chain is it means, at least like on paper, they'll go, oh, this person isn't waiting on shit. They can just move in. <laughs> like they're not, they're not like, they're not trying to do any weird back end shit. We don't need to worry about that part. You're less reliable as a buyer because if somebody pulls out of buying your house, you will pull out of buying a house. Yes, yeah, exactly. Hello, Jessup. I saw you say that you're ready and you're then you're setting up. So, um, call whenever. Cleo traumatized a bunch of non-mammal characters explaining mammalian birth to Nico. I think that would have made a great excuse for moral. <laughs> what that moral's just traumatized and is like, you know what, actually, uh, I can't be there. I have, I'm thinking about the birds and the bees. She ain't here. Hello, my friend. What the fuck are you talking oh, about? I'm right here. Oh, hi. Ma'am. What is going on on your, what's happening over on your Twitch? You got a background that's like uh, Final Fantasy 14, but when are you playing Final Fantasy 14? On Tuesday, every single Tuesday of my life. Right, 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 right. But like, how close are you to the end? I have no idea. I don't ask that very often. What happened? What's the last thing that happened? I'm level 89. Ooh. So I think I'm getting there. Oh. I'm not going to tell you what the last thing that happened is because then a thousand voices will cry out in terror. Spoilers! So Ooh. I'll tell you later what what Level 89 last, gives but me I'm a good level 89. idea. Yeah. I may or may not wish to tune in. Well, I don't know. It depends on how fast you go. Either this Tuesday or next Tuesday. <laughs> One of these Tuesdays, I'll watch you beat this thing. Thanks, bud. Yeah, I know. You're welcome. I have faith. 
flexes. Yeah, wait. So what's going on with your... What are you talking about houses and hair? What's going on with you? What happened? Houses and hair. Uh, I cut all my hair off because it's summer. And Whoa. You looking like... Uh, what you looking like? Oh, I'll text you a picture. You got photos? Oh, my God. Can I... I'll describe how you look to people. I do have photos. Yeah. I'll describe your looks to people. Okay. Also, you all um, getting a new house? Yeah, and we put an offer on a house, which Holy is so shit, stressful and actual... very exciting. That's beautiful. Did I tell you? Uh, hel- boy, I, for some reason, have one of those, like, you know me. I'm like, fuck it. We'll see what happens. So <laughs> I, uh, I saw, I got an ad sent to me. I don't know if it was targeted or what, but it was like, in London, England, a new apartment community is opening up and we would love it if you would be one of our first buyers and i forget that in the uk you have to buy a thing right so i thought to myself well obviously i'm not gonna buy this i don't live in the uk why would i I don't i clearly won't have the money for it it's probably gonna be like two million bucks like this is is ridiculous so anyway i click their website and i see this amazing apartment that looks incredible and it's also like Half apartment, half hotel. I guess they remodeled. They're like Winston Churchill once got his, you know, hat polished here or some shit. And I was like, amazing. This place is so cool. I would love to know more. So they sent me a packet of information. And that packet was like, for the low cost of 17 million euros. I was like, what? (laughs) (laughs) Yes. I was like, F this entire city. Um, so I've sent you pictures. Apparently, Sam said I look like Dexter's mom. So I guess like, I mean, go into it with that out. energy. I think it looks really cute. Thank you very much. You know, the best part about this is so. All right. Okay. All Hit right. Me. Okay. You know, as your friend, it's my job to give you a little bit of a ribbing. Yeah, of course. Photo one and two, who is this very attractive woman? (laughs) Actually, photo one is... uh, That's literally me right now. I just took that. (laughs) Right now? So thank you. Photo one is great. Yeah. Photo two is 200% mom energy. Yes. Like photo two screams. Like even my mom had that kind of energy when I was younger. So like I see that. Mm -hmm. Photo three, however... (laughs) Photo three, for people who can't see this, photo three is literally just a side shot of the cut, I assume, yes. happening at the time. Yeah. And uh, that shot, while the first while the first one has, like, attractive Dodger energy and the second one has attractive mom energy, the last one has, like, Justin Bieber energy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Can I... Um... That cut, that cut let, like, the way the angle is on that, like, that perfectly sharp angle yes. is massive. I'm Justin Bieber. Yeah. Um, I, uh, so if my mom is watching, hi mom. Um, I said, I sent her pictures <laughs> and, uh, and she goes, wow, it's quite dramatic. And then after, <laughs> <laughs> and then after a while she goes, oh, but you know, you are gonna, it's kind of like high school again, honey. You are going to look like you're about like a 15 year old boy or girl. <laughs> Thanks, mom. <laughs> That's incredible. So yes, that, yeah. I feel like that those kind of mean the same thing. That if I'm <laughs> if I'm not careful at some angles, people go beeps. I'm letting you know, like it is a flawless Bieber. <laughs> it's like you went in and said, "Give me the Bieber." Give me the. You went to the Bieber barber, and the Bieber barber gave you a Bieber cut. And I'm gonna let you know, like yeah, the, it's. I will definitely say, like the first one looks like Chill Dodger. It just looks like you who you've always been sure uh second one is like hot mom energy like yeah that is like you know actually yeah hot mom energy i was about to say hot stepmom energy but that's a lie that's not true hot mom energy and the <laughs> third one is like a 15 year old boy <laughs> <laughs> oh the father yeah. son and holy ghost <laughs> so good yeah amazing amazing somebody said do the young people in chat know who justin bieber is and i don't want to ask that question man uh 
Yeah, I, there, it doesn't really look like anything else. I mean, just, you know, go to a mall. You'll see Dodger. <laughs> go to a mall on a Saturday and you'll see you'll someone see with You'll see someone with my energy, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but oh my God. the Because fe- it was, it was a hotter day the day that I got that haircut and the difference between stepping into the salon and stepping out. Holy shit. I, uh, I'm a, I'm a whole new dudes. So is, is, is Sam like super into it? Is he like, I love the hair. Uh, so I showed it to Sam and Sam goes, Oh my God, you actually cut it all off. And then he covered his face and he goes, now we're opposites because his hair is like basically down to his nipples. <laughs> So <laughs> I was like, oh, you're right. We are opposites. Yeah, um, that's, uh, that's beautiful. I, I like harassed him uh, when he had not even woken up yet. I literally like burst into the room and was like, honey, I cut off all my hair. And he was like, <gasps> like woke from the dead. And then uh, when I saw him later, he was like, your hair is really cute. I was like, oh, thanks. <laughs> That's lovely. That's yeah. wonderful. Uh, I am blown. Away. I keep. I keep like looking at it, just like, wow. It is very. It's it. Here's the thing. I think, no matter what you may believe, you have a short hair vibe. Thank you. Like I know you've done long hair, mm. but I think because I first met you with short Dodger hair, that you've always just had a short hair vibe. <laughs> yeah, I think that's fair. Uh. It feels like it It wasn't until the last, like, I don't know, 10 years or so that I ever had hair past my shoulders, really. Um, I had it short for most of my young life. Was it a British thing? Did the Brits make you grow it long? You can tell nah. me. Nah. Nah. This is a safe space. Nah. Was it the Brits? I, I was British a fool. British do this to you? No, 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 no. I was a fool. <laughs> and I... I thought to myself i'm older now i'm wiser maybe just maybe if i grow my hair out i will take the time to do something with it and as literally anyone knows who is in my life what do i do with my hair every day I put in a fucking ponytail every goddamn day of my life that's that that doesn't count that doesn't count uh so you know, if I'm going to throw it in a ponytail every day, then then why bother having the hair that's in the ponytail? You know? Look, you don't have to convince me. I I haven't given a thought about hair in too many years. <laughs> the more I think about hair, the more I'm like, I'm doomed to lose it all. So what the hell do I care? Oh. I like yeah, your hair. I got, thank you. We're all bald as hell in this family. So <laughs> the fact that I still have hair, I'm like really impressed that there's something going on. I'm like, oh, yeah. All oh, right. keep it up, little strands. Keep oh my it up. god! So I don't know if uh, if you've ever been to a barber who has like talked about the direction that your hair grows in or any of that sort of shit. But um, this was the first time that I had somebody cutting my hair, and they were giving me a play by play of like, "Oh, here's something funny about your hair." So I found out that I naturally have a duck butt. Pardon. And naturally, the the very nape of my neck, the hair there, sticks pardon? straight up. It grows sorry, that direction. I have a duck butt. I'm, oh, I'm sorry, uh, pardon? You know what Astro Boy's hair looks like? I actually do, yes. Yeah, that's me, but in real life. <laughs> that's hilarious. That's... <laughs> so. <laughs> Why do you have a duck butt? I don't know. My hair grows that direction. Genetically, you just have your yeah. disposition, disposition is duck butt? Yeah, 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 yeah. The hair back there uh, wants to grow straight up toward heaven. Amazing. I, I thought I, I thought having a cowlick was weird, but duck butt wins. Yeah. You win. Mm-hmm. Duck butt. Yeah. I have a duck butt. <laughs> I have a duck butt. You know what? I'm glad I got to, to be with you on stream while you just said I have a duck butt and I get to witness that yeah you could take that out of context if you wanted i don't know how anyone would i don't, use I don't that, know how you would yeah yeah I don't know. um but you know people are more creative than i am so yeah 
I mean, mm. it, now here's the question. Is duck butt one word or two words? Oh, I imagine it as one word. If we're talking about like the, the hair, the hair lick. Mm, right, 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 right. If it's a duck, if it's an butt, actual duck's butt, then it's two words. Right. But if it's a duck butt, it's one word. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like it. I like mm. it. That's but, science. I mean, that's science. That's if that's anything science. is science, that's science. That's science. Mm. Are you ready to puzzle? Game? I haven't even opened the game. <laughs> Hold on. It's okay. I just opened it as well. I was too busy having a good time with my old pal with the Jessup. Oh, hey, thank you. With the goofs. With the goofs. Authenticating user. User authenticated. Game of Thrones, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Can I tell you what a giant sucker I am? Oh, they announced sure. that new Game of Thrones show. Uh -huh. The the one that's like the Targaryen show about a bunch of fight, and I was like, I don't care. That's garbage. Game of Thrones was ruined for me. I don't give a shit. What a dumb show. Stupid fucking show. And I hate the, the writers. The I hate second you involved. saw the trailer, you were like, I'm in. Let's go. No, I, I was like, I don't even give a shit. Then they announced the show that they're like, we're doing a Jon Snow sequel, and I was like, all right, I guess I can see where this fucking shit goes. <laughs> I guess I could. I guess I could do this. Why? Why is that what got me? I don't it's know. not even like the most interesting character. I'm like, yo, 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 but like, I guess I could, I guess I could see where that goes. I mean, it's because look, Game of Thrones did the thing that all uh, young adult novel authors realized a long time ago, which is, uh, you know, you create houses slash families slash factions, and people are gonna like cling to them and be like this is this is the one this is much better than the other ones and i am this um what i'm trying to say is mm -hmm. uh you know maybe mm -hmm. you just like really loved either uh I didn't. Like, the night's watch were you big into nope. the night's watch big into john nope. snow no nope. no no i just for some reason i was like i want to i i profoundly need to see what that show like i need to see what that show is mm. just like how i can watch real like i watched all 10 episodes of the halo tv show knowing it was bad but i needed to see how it yeah ended. that's a, like, that's a sort of strength i don't have i hear <laughs> i hear he talks um he does and, and takes it, off his mask he has sex at one point which is pretty wild um what at one point he with who actually don't tell me uh, <laughs> no don't oh, tell me I don't he has know. sex with the member of the covenant, which is pretty crazy. Um, he uh, at one point pulls a chip out of his like butt that, <laughs> that suppresses his emotions, right? And then and he's naked when he does it, so you see his butt. It's crazy. But then another Spartan sees him and is like, "Oh shit!" So then she pulls out the emotion chip in her, and then uh, her first the first thing she does when she finally gets her emotions. Again, Master Chief, the first thing he does when he gets emotions is confront the fact that, like, he probably was stolen as a kid and he's, like, dealing with... Because the writers are just, I assume, the worst. The first thing this girl does is she's like, I'm gonna dye my hair pink. That's the plot line. It's insane, dudes. It's insane. <laughs> I, will, I did like Cortana. That was pretty all right. <laughs> yeah. Cort Cortana, Cortana did it. Cortana was fun. Cortana was all right. Nice. Yeah, and uh, it took to the last episode to actually see Halo. Then suddenly it was Halo. Suddenly you're like, oh my god, this is Halo. We did it. We're Halo you now. Know. It was a thing, all right. Uh oh, I have to click ready. Sorry. That's okay. Have I'm to click ready? I'm tweeting because I forgot to. Oh, maybe I'll tweet too. Yeah, why not? You know what else we could do? We could squad stream. Whoa, calm down. I know. Whoa. I know. I just... <laughs> yes? <laughs> I log into Twitter, and the first thing I see is just like a butt. 
And it's like, not a butt I wanted to see, but there's a butt. <laughs> and I just, you know like when you follow a person five years ago, and then over those five years, they change their personality entirely. So suddenly their Twitter feed is like totally different. Yeah, that's that's what's going on here. So the the important the important question here is is this somebody you actually knew or you only knew them online? Oh. Met not, them not, once that, in not that not that knowing somebody online doesn't mean you can't be close, but I of think course, I think you know what I mean. Yes. Uh met them once in an event. Okay. And we follow each other at the event and have not met them or really talked to them since, but we still follow each other. And I've watched their personality completely change. And that happened to a lot of people over COVID. But there was is one it, person. Yeah, is it yeah. that their personality changed or that their content changed and you as a viewer of only their content are perceiving it as their personality changing the same way oh, that like our no. viewers I mean, like, would, would me say the an, same thing about us. Let me give you an us. example. Like, like I have no problem with people's content being like a butt. You know what I mean? Like that's yeah, fine. Of course. In fact, that's some of my favorite content. But a big I'm fan of butts and and other huge things. Fan. Yeah, the whole package. Yep. Huge fan. Uh, but the uh, uh, as an example, watching someone like I'm not gonna drop names. I'm just gonna be non-specific. But there was a person that I used to follow because I followed both of the people in that couple. Boy, Jesse, keep it keep it non-specific. <laughs> I followed both the people in that couple. <laughs> Dread lightly, over, dude. <laughs> yeah, and then over over uh, COVID, the beginning of COVID, they they broke up, and right. to watch him go off and live his like best life, and to watch the other person, Jesse, watch the other person slowly <laughs> become like a religious zealot who is like very like who posts shit like, you know what cures COVID? Beef. Like that shit. No. You're like, oh. <laughs> You're like, mm, something weird happened here. <laughs> yeah. That kind of shit. You're like, what happened to you? What it could like? How did you get here? <laughs> you yeah. used to be cool as shit, but now you're like a little crazy, and I don't. I'm worried. That kind of stuff. That's what I'm talking about. Not like, right. not like, oh, they just they they changed what they were doing. I'm talking about like genuinely, like, oh. Oh, what? Yeah, that kind of thing. Right. That's crazy. And I'm like, well, do I unfollow them? That seems rude as shit. <laughs> like, but maybe I should. <laughs> I mean, if they're the sort of person that's like, vaccines, I don't need them. I got, I got the Holy Spirit and a bottle of tea tree oil. Not, dudes, it wasn't even that. It was literally like, Thankfully, due to the power of Jesus and good old fashioned American red meat. I was like, <laughs> don't! What, what, what? It's not even a joke. It's not even an exaggeration. So, you know what? I'm just going to, Dukes, for you. Hold on. In Discord. Hopefully, you don't have it up. I don't. That's who I'm referring to. Okay. It checks out, right? It makes perfect sense. Um, I knew exactly who you were talking about. <laughs> okay, good, 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 good. I'm glad that we're all on the same page. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, uh, I, uh, COVID's, COVID's been so rough for a million different reasons. Um, but, but one of them is definitely seeing like, uh, people skew in really extremist ways. Um, yeah, there have been a few people that I've had alarming conversations with where I'm like, wait, no, I, and I always try to approach the conversation in a way where it's like, maybe, maybe we can talk through this in a way where we understand each other a bit better. And it never seems to like quite go that way, unfortunately. Yeah, it's hard to convince people who are so adamant about their beliefs that they're wrong when, like, you know, you should be open to being wrong and, and like, changing your mind about shit. But, like, when you are in it, you're like, there's nothing wrong with what I believe. You are the wrong one for disagreeing with me. And it's like, well, all right, then. 
Glad we had a chat. Yeah. Oof. Hard oof. Hard oofs. Anywho, would you like to uh, um, escape the depths of the sea with me? I would love to escape the depths of the sea. Although, if I, you know what? Never mind. <laughs> Let's play. <laughs> I think you should take the sub. I think you should take the sub. Um, we're forty six percent of the way through this game, by the way. So we'll definitely need to play um, more of this. By the way, e once we're done with this, we should one hundred percent play Escape Academy. Escape. Oh Room my Academy, god! I think it's called. Oh my god! Yes, I played the demo for that. It's so good. I, can I tell you that at the uh, event that happened um, this past weekend? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Summer Game Fest, like game days, dev days, whatever it was called. Uh, I got to play the game, and myself and this very nice young woman, we were playing, and uh, we got an A-plus ranking, and everyone said we were the best people there. And here's the thing. She then went on her own stream and said, I got to play with Jesse Cox, and we were A-plus, and I was like, yeah! So I'm just letting you know. I think I'm I think I'm a pro at this. Damn. Hey bud. I know. I think I'm a pro also. Uh oh oh. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. You should definitely get in the escape hatch. No, I think you should. You should get it you should go in the escape Fine. Pot. Fine, scaredy cat, I will. <laughs> Because I know that that you hate the deep sea stuff, I will do it for you. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> I'll stay. I'll stay here and be totally fine. Okay. Um. So you know what I see? I see a button with an ear on it. And um. Oh, there's You're an eyeball. Right now? Hello. Yeah. How and dare some you? teeth. How dare you minimize my fear? <laughs> oh, the eyeball changed. <laughs> Uh, it changed to a shape. Am I supposed to match the shape? Okay. Um, maybe we are supposed to learn from the eyeball, right? So maybe it's speaking to us because there's a book here that has symbols and the symbols can be castle, be, no, maybe, yes, justice, power, greetings, weapon, nobody explores. Desire, float, um, sink, hello, and then just more words. Okay, so maybe it, it tries to communicate with us and we try to communicate back? Potentially, yes. There's also, oh my goodness. Answer its questions truthfully. Okay, it says. great. So um, the eyeball is green, uh, but for a second it was yellow. It was a yellow eye with like a like a cat slit in it, basically. Just like a line down the middle. A yellow eye with a line down the middle, okay. And now it's not um, doing anything. I got nothing about a line down the middle. Uh, did the line down the middle look like it had little four circles in the line? Yeah, like little bumpies. Yeah, and I also have a button that is like that here. So does it tell you like it's meaning or anything? Well, that l was there anything else in the image? That line is part of words, but it's part of several words. So it could mean anything from what mm. to revenge, to love, to float, to justice. Okay. But it's the other bit that's important. Uh, okay, one second. I'm gonna press this ear button and see if I hear something. <laughs> Uh, okay, so it made like kind of a clicking noise at me, but it, it really was just, hold on. Is there anything that you can listen to? I have a uh, gramophone or whatever that is, some sort okay. of horn looking thing. And I also have a... I don't know if it's a dial. I guess I could see what it is, but it basically is um, six symbols on little, I guess, glass orby things around in a circle. And it's everything from like one that looks like a man to one that kind of looks like a woman's head with a cowlick to an infinity symbol. Yes, and I, I have all of them. those too. And then 
I also have uh, three things. I guess it says pool, so I'm going to imagine they're levers of some sort <clears throat> okay. down at the bottom. And they each look like they're some form of chair. Like one is a folding chair looking thing. And one looks like an old timey fun chair with like a circle on it. And one looks like a folding chair with a circle on it. And I'm... Try pulling one of those. Okay, I did, and it made the worst noise I've ever heard in my life. Okay. It made a... Like that. Okay. Uh, pull another one. That one made a... So it was faster, and this one made a... Hmm, okay, hold on. <laughs> Uh, so the noise that it's making at me when I go to listen to it is like a clicking noise. Mm. Like, uh, 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 kind of a thing. Terrifying. It's, it's Terrifying. Quite, um, but it, the tone goes up over time and it also gets faster over time, but it's like, uh, 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 kind of a thing. What does this symbol do? Oh, what the? Oh, so, okay. So this, um wheel if i move the 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 wheel of symbols around whenever i move a symbol down at the bottom the three things to pull change <clears throat> oh so, okay basically i am uh picking a top one and then whatever the bottom one is we pull that and i guess we're trying to talk to this thing and we just have to answer its questions so i guess i need to know what the questions <laughs> are um, should we try to just match what it what it said to us and see what happens? Uh, what did it say to us? So it just the line with the four with the four dots in it. Mm -hmm. Um, and then the clicking noise. And the clicking noise. Line with the four dots and then the clicking noise. Mm -hmm. So maybe we have to use line with the four dots. Like, line with four dots, and then... Man, I don't know. How do we do so... The last one was... Oh, maybe we say greetings. Line with the four dots. And then it's... This one. Maybe we say hello. No, that <laughs> don't do anything. Nothing happened in here. Hello. Um, how do I say greetings? Like what What two symbols? Because you said this is only part of the word, right? So what's the other symbol I would need to press to say greetings? Uh, the one that it looks like... Um, huh, it looks like... If someone went to the gym and they went to go like lift weights. But the... <laughs> what is this bad description? But, like, it was too um, heavy, and so it bent the middle of the bar down. Okay, yep. I think I, I, think I know. And that's the one that says greetings. Like, it looks like, you know. It just looks like a, like a buff dude, right? That's, like, Not flexing with dude. their arms down. No, no, no. It just looks like, it literally looks like the actual weights on like a bar but the middle of the bar is bent into a u okay and under that is like an x shape nope it's just a dumbbell but like a bent dumbbell or i guess barbell a bent barbell yeah if it makes any sense to you it looks like it comes from a tie fighter the symbol the original symbol looks like a tie fighter it's the circle with the two the two lines and the like the T's attached to it. A circle with two T's on the side. And it comes from that. Uh, <clears throat> a circle with Okay. Yes, the one that literally just looks like a TIE fighter, is that what you're saying? It's like that, but imagine the top half, the top half of the circle was missing. So it's like a TIE fighter, but a U oh, Okay, a yep, gotcha. <clears throat> uh, can you accept the squad stream invite really quick? I should have realized that we're, we're nerds, and I should have gone with that first. <laughs> rather than... 
Like, they don't bark like dumbbells. Like, I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. Um, which is you giving me a squad stream, A? Eh? Yes. Invites, accept. Great. Start squad stream. Great. There you go. Okay, I'll send it to the kids. There you go. Boom. Okay. Bada boom. Okay. Yeah. Does that do Trans anything? transmit? Let's see. It's angry. It's mad. It hated that. Yes, I can tell. It's cracking the thing. Oh, great. Okay. So I guess if we get this wrong, we die. <clears throat> lovely, lovely, lovely. Yeah, it's it's just the same thing again. Um. There and there's no, there's nothing else listed. It's just the weird. So okay, line let me thing. tell you exactly what's in front of me. So um, okay. on, if I'm staring straight ahead, I see the eyeball. Okay. On my left is is a button to be able to listen to it again. That's just an ear, and then okay. there are four symbols. Um, that are all buttons. The top one is is the the line with the four dots in it. The second one is is just a horizontal, like a thick horizontal line. Okay. The third one looks kind of like a a glowing eye or like a sort of rounded diamond shape that's on its side. Glowing eye, rounded diamond shape. On yeah. Its side, you said? Yeah. So, like, if I was gonna draw a diamond normally, you know, on the... its... look, I, you would say kind of looks like a seed as well. Sure. And then the the fourth symbol is kind of like a wiggly W. Really quickly, can you repeat those to me once more? I think I might have figured this out. Okay. Uh, line with the three dots. Uh, thick horizontal line. Right. Um. Eyeball, seed, whatever. Line with three dots, not four dots? Four dots, sure. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, well, all right. Uh, and then the fourth one is is a is a W, but like if somebody got really loosey goosey with it. Like a mustache, like an old yes. tiny mustache. Yep. Right. Okay, so to be clear, you have Old Tommy mustache, mm -hmm. a thing that looks like a like a seed, the sure. line with the four things, a thing that looks like a Mike and Ike. A Mike and Ike? It's just it's well, just it's just a line. It's just it's a thick, like a big thick. It's it it's like a, a really Ike. thick Look, horizontal line. Don't question me on this. It's a Mike and Ike. Okay, so <laughs> you don't remember Mike and Ikes? Come on. I do, Not but like old. they look like so many other candies. <laughs> I'm not that old. Just, it's it's a pill. Like, it looks like a pill that somebody left on a it's table. It's like a black licorice thing. Um, it's and then, and, and then to my right is like all the other more convoluted symbols that I think you so, also see. Is there anything? Here's my thing. Hmm. I'm thinking that because I don't, I don't have those symbols, right? Okay. And you do. Okay. That really, what we're doing here is. We are combining our symbols together. Okay. So, <clears throat> if he is giving us that line thing, then perhaps he is saying greetings, and so okay. we need to say hi back, right? Sure. So maybe. What is that? What? Is it just hello? Is it just? If he's saying greetings, maybe we say hello. Okay, so what right? do I press for hello? Um, you would yours would be the seed symbol, and I'm going to, to switch okay. up really quickly. Give me one sec. So I think I need to. I'm very excited to see how you explain the rest of these symbols. <laughs> oh boy, sorry. So, it, do we pull at the same time? I don't know. All right, I'm gonna pull this, so I, and then. So I have. I have all there everything is a button in here. Okay. So I have my four my four symbols on the left, they are all buttons, and then all of the symbols including the like weird tie fighter symbols 
um, are on the right, they are also buttons. Uh, and then once I have picked one from the left side and one of the more complicated symbols from the right side, I can hit a transmit button. Gotcha. So you're doing all the work. So really in here, I'm just supposed to be trying to figure out what the hell they're saying. Okay. Okay, so I think, based on what you've told me, that I try to do greetings, because that's what I thought they wanted, but it looks like he's greeting us, so maybe we just reply like, so, hello. So yours so. needs to be... Let me see if this... Okay, so maybe... Hmm, maybe I'll have to hear what you... Well, we'll, we'll figure it out next time, if this works. Okay. All right, um... It is a, imagine a head with long hair and a cross at the top. Okay, yep. Except, except the bottom is not curly, the bottom is flat. Does that make any sense? Like the hair at the bottom looks less like curls and more like feet. Yes. Like cartoon feet. Yep. Okay. That and then the sideways diamond eye thing. Okay, got it. Transmit. Let's see what happens. It's happy. It's happy. Woo! All right. Yeah. One gone. Oh my God. Okay. Okay. So this time it's sending us. Uh... Oh. Okay. Two loosey goosey W's. So two must. One mustache, two mustaches, and then the third symbol is the Mike and Ike. Did it give us, did it have any noises? I think the yes. first bit is a noise and I we need to figure out what that noise is. Can you try to describe Let it me to me, the noise? It. Ooh, was the first one. All right, let me try to find the, the ooh. Oh, no, sorry, sorry, sorry. Keep going, yeah. No, 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 it's fine. Yeah, so for, first one is like, with the uh, with the mustache, the second one was kind of like you're trying to plunge a toilet, also with a mustache. Oh, I wish we get a general consensus of what these noises are. And then, and then, right, uh, so the last one is kind of an underwater burp. It made like an ooh sound? Yeah. Ooh. Okay, I found. All right. Was it? Was it ooh like that? Was it? Mm. Hold on. Hmm. Or was it? Ooh. Yep. It's that one? Ooh. It's okay. that. Okay. So, um, and then you said it was the, what was the first one? It was the, the mustache thing? Mustache, yep. Who? Who is what it is? Who? Okay, who? All right, so the first one is who. Great. What was the second noise? Second second noise is kind of like, you know the the kind of gross suctiony noise that happens when you first start to flush a toilet? <laughs> sure. Yes. Is is that um with a with a mustache? A gross suctiony noise. Like Okay. I don't Yeah, it's definitely a toilet <laughs> noise. Like, 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 like it's swirling down. Mm, no, like, um, like the chamber at the back of the toilet is uh dealing with the water. Like the the water is swirling around and making weird echoey noises. Hmm. 
Let me listen to it again. Let's see if I can come up with a better description. Let's see what my options are in here. Maybe, maybe there is the. Maybe it's who are you? That would be lovely, <laughs> right? Yeah, that'd be great. There is no R, huh? It, there is a you B. could al you could also say it's kind of like an extremely wet burp. Let me that see. second one. Does it sound like? I guess. Like. Yeah. So maybe it's instead of who are because it's a dumb squid. It's who be. Maybe. Uh, all who right. Who be ye? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe it's. Who maybe it's be. a pirate. Maybe it's a pirate squid. Can I you ask know? you the? The last one was a. Uh, uh, a Mike and Ike. Right. Yeah. I think it might be who be you. Great. Right, he's asking. And so, what did it say? Truthful, be truthful. Be truthful. All right, what, what answers could we give? Um, I don't think we're justice, that's Batman. We're, I mean, in in the game, we're explorers, right? That is an option, I'm looking at it right now. Um, explorers could be true. Um, friend, that's not true. We don't know this dude. <laughs> Enemy, that's not true. Revenge, insult, what? I think explorers. I think you're right, dudes. I think explorers is the correct answer. All right. Okay, let's try so, it. So, the symbols we would send back are... Oh, boy. Well, first off, the one of them is the mustache, and the other one is... um. Again, it looks like it's from the, the TIE Fighter tree. Except it is a, a U, ex except instead of it being T's, it's like giant slants. Looks kind of like you put two drumsticks down on a surface that has a bump in it. Does that make any sense? It's like a top angled TIE fighter. Two drumsticks down on a surface? Like if you, it's POV, like you set the drumsticks down in front of you where the long end is it's, you know what? It's an A, dude. It's like an it's like a capital A with a with a U inside of it. E yeah, isn't that the same symbol from before? No, that one, the one from before was a like it looked like a a Tie Fighter with a U. This one is it's a Tie Fighter with a U, but longer, more extended. Like they almost touch the top. So I have two I have two Tie Fighter esque symbols, but one of them has a U in the middle, and one of them has a circle in the middle. This is a U for sure, except it isn't T's on the side. It's like very long, uh, like almost drawing an A, or almost drawing like a like an upside down V, and then putting the Tie Fighter bit in the middle. It's 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 like um. I don't know. It's like it's like two. It's like placing two chopsticks down on a plate. Okay, I'm gonna press what I what I think you're talking about. We'll see okay. what it does. It's happy. It liked that. Hey! All right. Cool. Fantastic. All right. Okay. Okay, we got three symbols again. I'll give you the very first one. All right, talk to me. It's a, the diamond shape. And the sound is like um, a really quick hiss, like <laughs> kind of a thing. A really quick hiss. Yeah. That's not it. All right. When you say really quick hiss, you mean like that, right? Yep. Yep. Okay. 
It's that plus a diamond, you said? Yeah, the, the, the like, seed shape. Mm-hmm. King. King is, is, the, is that word. Okay. What was the second one? Let me look. Uh, it is, uh, this, I think it's who again. It's the, it's the mustache or no, who B King B King B. Okay. Uh, it, because it's, it's the mustache, uh, with the, with the toilet noise again, which you said was B, Great. right? King B. Gotcha. Yes. That's okay. exactly what that was. And then the third symbol. <coughs> is the Mike and Ike. Okay. Uh, the sound is similar to the first one, but a little bit longer and less abrasive. So it's like... <sighs> so it's like... <sighs> like that? Not, not that long. It's... Uh, it's just slightly longer. It's just less aggro. Like it's the first like, one's like, <sighs> but the so, but this one is more of like a. <sighs> so the first one is like, <sighs> and this one is like. <sighs> like yes. That. Yeah. Gotcha. I can't believe this is what this game is making us do. Right <laughs> I know. Imagine doing this over the the fucking uh, walkie-talkie system. <laughs> right. King B hurt. Is that what it's saying? Oh, maybe. Maybe this thing belonged to the king or knew the king. Yeah, I think it's supposed to be here to protect whatever's down here. So, and if the jester is torturing us, maybe I don't know, what do we say to this? King be hurt? Um castle be no, maybe yes. Yes. Justice power greetings no, these don't these don't help. Desire float sink. You, friend, town, love, king. If it's, if it's king, be hurt. That's a yes or no question, right? I think so. I would say yes. Then, I would say right? yes, yes, right? Yeah. Yes. Okay, so this is an infinity symbol with a line through it and a uh, sideways uh, diamond thing. Okay, let's see. Oh, oh, yep. something happened. I think yep. we did it. Yep, it's happy. Oh my god. Great. Oh, I'm it's letting free. go more and more. I see. Yeah. Yeah, all the tentacles have vanished, I think. Maybe there's one more and I just don't see it. Oh, I see it now. Well, hello. All right. Okay. So let's see if you got one more to go. So I think the first symbol was who. Let me try that again. Oh, no. Okay, so this the first symbol here is the line with the four dots and the dolphin noise. Line with the four dots and the dolphin noise. Mm. Uh, the, okay. the same one from beho before. The ooh. Gotcha. Hold on. So. So it was it the ooh. Yes. Line with the four dots and dolphin. Noise. Oh, that's a dolphin noise. I think that's what? Okay. What is line with the four dots and dolphin noise? Okay, what? Okay, so next symbol. Let's see. Okay, wiggly mustache. Mm -hmm. And the sound is... Um, sort of a skittering noise like you might give an insect in a video game. Uh, okay. Let me listen to it a second time. Is it like that? Uh, you just talked over it. I'm sorry. Won't, let, I'm let, me, sorry. let me do it again. No, it's fine.
It's uh, it's sort of a descending noise. It's like, but like a, but imagine that, but like more skittery. So like, are you sure? And it's the mustache, right? Yep. Is it explorers? What explorers? Oh, maybe it's asking what we're doing. What right. explorers yeah, do? Or is there a do? I don't know. Let's uh, what let's, let's try to figure yeah, out what the last it. one is. Second. Okay, first one and second one. Uh, okay. The third one is the mustache again, and then sort of like a snake rattle. Yeah, I think I know exactly what it is. Okay. It is this one. Yep. What explorers desire, I think is what it's asking. Oh, so what do we want? And I think we want escape isn't a possibility. Revenge is a possibility. Um, I mean, love is always a possibility. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, I think escape, right? Greetings, justice, power. Yeah, I'm looking through. Castle, king. Uh, I think escape has to be the right answer. Yeah. Okay, so what do I what do I do, partner? Escape is the um looks like a sound wave. But instead of sharp lines or squares, it's like very soft uh like like curves. Does that make sense? Yeah, is there does at the beginning is the line along the bottom and at the end the line is along the side? Yes. And okay. one of the Mike and Ikes is escape. And a Mike and Ike. Let's go. Boy, I hope this is it. Get out of here! Yep. Hell yes. Yo, oh, we got an achievement called begin. Monster Bargain. <laughs> Cute. <laughs> that uh, that took a lot to figure out at first, but once we got it, that was pretty, like, that was a great puzzle. I think so, too. We worked together. That was great. Where did you go exactly? Are you stuck I think out it's there? It's letting still? me back oh, out. Back. Hello, friend. Come on, let's pull this thing. See what was happening? <laughs> I almost died. <laughs> that was terrifying. I was looking right. at its mouth. Well, you know what? <laughs> oh, wait, hold on. Never look a gift squid in the mouth. That's just a fact. It's true. That's what my mom always said. Yeah. My mom always said. So where are we? We're still descending, huh? Yeah. What else is down here? Sometimes this wouldn't be, the way this wouldn't up be good. is down, you know? I mean, I've been told that before. <laughs> if we were going down, this would only get worse. This yeah, would be I was going to say, this problem. would be getting <laughs> dangerous. <laughs> this would be, the structural integrity of this entire thing would be gone instantly. Mm. This is bad news, but here we are. I guess in a world of magical mannequin men, this doesn't really matter all that much. <laughs> That's true. Wait, so are we? We're still like, going. We're still we going. Another floor, like third floor, fish lingerie. Oh wait, there's a there's a base down here. Oh shit. So maybe soon we can pretend we're not underwater anymore for your sanity. I mean, like, this is fine. This is dangerous, but like, this is fine. I'm fine being in like a lovely underwater. I've oh, been- Oh, here we go. Oh. Oh, we have two different exits. Oh. Oh man. Okay, bye, bud. Bye. Am I gonna get- Miss you. Got sucked down in a tube. Ooh. Oh, look at us. Oh my God, what is this shenanigan? What the fuck is this? I want to know the guy who was like, hey, let's build a forest under the ocean. They're like, of course, my Lord, you're not a crazy king at all. We certainly okay. will endeavor to expend our nation's money and infrastructure on such a feat. Uh, okay, Lovely. we both have signs. What does your sign say? Mine says, 
three. I, sorry, there's sharks keep appearing in the background. There's three crystals, two health potions, and one poison pot. Yep. Become a symbol of some sort. Like a like a circular sort of gear like thing. Like some sort of chakram thing. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Great. We have like the a same dancer weapon. Same thing. Like a dancer weapon. Exactly. Yes. Hmm. Okay, that has a root on it. That has a potion bottle on it. That has a crystal on it. The hell are these symbols? The. Are we the doing many alchemy? Layers? Is this alchemy sim now? Maybe. What the hell? Hello, friend. Okay, so it appears that. So what we need okay. is we need. Three crystals, mm -hmm. two red pots, one green pot. Yes. And then we dump it all in here, I guess. So all these different things create that stuff. Do we so I guess the this? best thing to do is, is figure out what we can actually craft. You know what I mean? Yeah. Or rather, how do we get those resources? Let's see. Yeah. There's a thing here to hold down. Uh, do you have, uh, next to the bridge that leads up over here, at the base of the bridge, do you have a, a lever to hold down? I do have a lever. Let's do it. Oh, maybe this is what we do when we have everything? Yeah, when it's filled up, you can see the like okay. top bit there. So where do we get the items? I don't know. Hmm. And we're walking. And we're walking. Like I can see where the crystal where the crystal machine is, but I don't see how one would get the item. Is it up here? Well, that's where I came from. What? What can I do? What can I click? Anything? Oh, dang. So, I'll, what's that? Floating around the bottom of the river is a bunch of shiz. Yeah, but I can't grab any of it. Can you? Oh, I did. I got four <gasps> things. Oh, I can pick stuff up now. Yeah, interesting. Uh, so what the okay. Hell? I have Can I yellow, green, here? orange, and blue. What? Hmm. Oh, place. Place. Oh, <gasps> I got a root. Oh, okay. Dush. How did you get the root? What did you place in there to get the root? Uh, I placed an empty pot in. Oh. And it oh. and it gave me a thing. Okay. So the root the root just gives me a root. Let's see. Um, I also have one with a Yep, okay. And I was able to get a mushroom. The like blue mushroom. Okay. Is there anything else? Do I need an empty uh, pot? To make crystals. Looks like I have it. Oh, shit. Um, oh, okay, so I, I have the machine that makes crystals over here. Mm -hmm. uh, I also have the machine that grinds up pink crystals and acorns it looks like um all right so you have you have a machine that grinds uh can you grind pine cones is that a thing you can do yes all right i'm sending a pine cone to you to grind okay um, I'm sending you a root because I don't think I have anywhere anything I can do with that. Can you mess with yellow? I think maybe you have to mess with the yellow because I don't have a yellow thing over here. Okay. Yeah. 
Sending you yellow, um, and I think I'm gonna send. Uh, I have orange and blue for sure. I'm sending, I'm sending you a couple empty pots because that's how I got Thank those you. things. Um, okay, I've got the yellow. Uh, let me try to let me put the Where's acorn the in here and see what happens. Uh, I might need yellow and red to do this. Um, let me see about... But where do we get that from? And then... Can I put this in here? No. Can't put that in there. What the dukes? So I guess green is... So it wants that, not that. Really? Really? Dude, who made alchemy so hard, though? <laughs> Okay. All right. So I have two crystal bits. Do you have the ability to get shrooms? Yeah, the the blue shrooms. I do have those. Yeah. Um. Okay. Would you like one? Uh, I don't know that I can make what needs to be made with it, but perhaps you can. Well, I definitely don't have anything that breaks them down. I need oh, we just... don't need to break them down, I don't think. What we need is We do is for the to... green one. For the three gems that we need, we just need three blue shrooms, and I have three crystals I can send you. Yes, send me crystals. Three crystals have been sent. Okay. Um... And I guess you can get the shrooms, then you can make the diamond? I can try. I don't know how we do that. I don't know how we do that. Okay, so I've loaded up a mushroom and a pink crystal, but I think I need yellow and green to power it, maybe? How do we get more of of this like liquid stuff? Or I'm gonna can, go send it to you. Or can we not? You need yellow and green. I think you have to use a bowl and scoop I have it the, out. Yeah, but scoop it from where? From the place where we set it before. What? So I'm gonna send you green. I don't. I don't have anywhere to pick up those colors. Uh, green is being sent to you right now. Okay. Yellow, if you use it already, you should be able to scoop it out of wherever you use it from. I Oh, I see what you mean. Yes, I still have the yellow. Yeah. I just so don't, now you should have green have and else. yellow. Okay. Okay. Danke. Interesting. Oh. I think crystal maybe. Okay, yep. One is loaded in. Amazing. Okay. <laughs> All right. Second one done. Terrifying noise. And that'll be the third one done. Uh, nice. Okay. Beep, 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 why beep, we, beep, 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 why beep, do we get an air horn? What? I, I have no idea. Is it? There we go. Load it in. Um, I think it's almost done with the third one, and then that third that third blue vial will fill. Okay, so I'm not sure what you need on your side, but here is a um, chopped up. Uh oh, what the hell? 
Why didn't that work? I don't know. What's Fantastic happening? Fantastic question. We disconnected. Oh, I don't know. I hope not. I can't put uh, I can't put my shit down. Oh, I also can't put my shit down. Uh oh. Well. Time ran out. You also you need to pull the lever again. Really? Time ran out. I, oh, interesting. I can't pull anything. Yeah, I also can't pull it. I think we disconnected. Oh no. I can pull that. Well, that's weird. Oh. Why can I pull that? Okay, I'll, I'll pull mine. You pull yours? Yeah. Well, that's fine. We know how to do the crystals, at least. Forbidden waffle. Oh, it's not gonna, yeah, it's not going to be the right thing. Okay. <laughs> I was like, that's trash. I will grab green and yellow right off the bat. Oops, it won't let me. Oh, because I don't have pots. Wait, no, 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 no. Ah, shit. Oh, leave, it resets leave the, everything. Leave the green wow. and yellow for me. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. I can't pick up anything right now. What? Did you pick up an empty pot first? Or have you tried? No, I can't pick up anything. I also can't pick up anything. Uh, Very cute. Oh, the lever here. Why not? The starter lever is what we have to do again. Oh. Okay. Ready? Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Let's wait until they start to come back around. Okay. Okay. Uh, three, two, one, go. So we're timed on this. This yes. thing is a timer. That's the problem. <laughs> well, this should be a real treat. I love timed puzzles. Okay, if you can send me um, crystals again, that would be amazing. On it. Thank you. Sending three crystals. Um, okay. So, do you have the other two machines to, like, m make final products of things? I have a machine that lets me shred mushrooms and, uh, um, roots. And I have machines that, uh, it looks like it makes kerosene or some shit. I have no idea how this works. It's a machine that is, th it's three machines in one. And I think I have to put in something that looks like a potion, something that looks like ground crystal dust, and something that looks like ground mushrooms. I have no idea how to run this machine. I literally couldn't tell you how this bit is done. Um, okay. So once these are done, I'm gonna take the green and make the the weird little um, pot for the the health potions, so to speak. Mm-hmm. Do you need um? Okay. Do you have the ability to get a pine cone? Uh, n no. Or am no. I sending you pine cones? You I think send I them need... to me, and I grind them up. I think I need. I get roots one... over here. Yeah, send me the roots. I need. Uh, the green juice. Uh, 
Okay, let me get one thing with the green juice first. Sure. Sure, sure, wait, sure, 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 sure. Is, wait, never mind. Wait, how does this work? Oh, just that? Oh, okay. Okay. Um, green is coming back to you, and so is mm -hmm. that thing. Lovely. If you can send me a oh my goodness. pine cone, yeah. Um, and I'm going to send you a root, because it looks like you have to put that in under the razor blade or whatever the fuck. Yeah. All right, sending you a pine cone. Thank you. Picking up the root. Um, if you can also send me a pink, uh, a pink diamond, another one. Sure. Um, I can grind that up. Uh, but I need the I need the red liquid if you've got it. Um, I have it, but I have the inability to. I have the shredded roots. I'm sending you. Okay. I just don't have any free bowls at the moment. Oh, here. I'll send you a couple. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. So what were the things you needed from me? The liquid. What else? Uh, I need um, I need the red liquid and I need a pink diamond. Are you sure that uh, you aren't the one who makes the red stuff? I sent you a pink diamond. Um, I may be, the thing is, is that if I want to make the green potion, I, like over here, I have the, what it takes to make red and what I have it takes to make green. So I think I'm making both those potions with the parts. <coughs> yes. So you need the, you need the shredded up, um, I need the shredded root. pine cone and the shredded, um, and, and the shredded root. So I'm sending that back to yes. you. Yes. And I need two of them. Okay. So I'll send you this. Pick that up. Okay, the pine cone's the happening. Pine cone? Yeah, it's happening nice. right now. It's taking a while. Okay, I'm gonna go over here and uh oh. Let's do this. It doesn't want that. Send green your way. Okay, I'm you sending you. I'm have... sending you a pine cone, but uh, I need a second you... pine cone. That's fine. Do I have what? I need that green back. I sent it to you like a big dummy. The green. Oh yeah, I'll just let it keep going. Okay. No, I, I think we figured it out. Okay. We may not get it this time, but I think we have it figured out. Okay. So we need two pine cones and two roots, no matter yes. what. Yes. The shredded uh, pine cone is still going around. But All I right. Need, I need a whole one when you get a chance. And I've got um, a diamond grinding over here now. Here's a whole. Whoa, oh, that's the wrong. Did thing. I send you? Oh. Did I send you a a blue mushroom yet to grind up? Um, not yet. No. Okay, I'm sending you both of those. So here's the mushroom, and here's the ground up. Uh, do diamond. you have red or orange or whatever that is? I do have red, I but I I I just need it to do this last pine cone. Sure, sure, sure. Uh, let me I need send a, you I need a second bottle. Oh, another bottle. Oh, okay. I need one more bottle. Oh shoot! I should have taken the green then. <laughs> it's all right. Um, maybe we formulate our strategy for next time because we're almost at red or we're at red now. Yeah. So, what I need to do is give you, at the beginning, right out the gate, three diamonds. Maybe four. Four. You're saying. Yep. Four diamonds. Okay. So I'm gonna take four of the empty things right out the gate. Send you four diamonds. Mm -hmm. Then I'm going to take green as well and send you two pine cones. Okay. Um, so then 
you should be able to create the three crystals and then send me back shredded things. And then once I have the shredded things, I can, uh, uh, or, I'm sorry, you're going to send me the roots and the mushrooms. I I'm going to shred all that stuff. Yep. And then the roots and the mushrooms I need, so I'm going to keep those. And then the the dusted pine cones and crystals, that's you, so you send me that. And then I need two bottles. No, actually three bottles, technically. Yeah, so I need, I need green goop to make the bottles. Mm -hmm. I need yellow and red goop to grind up the uh, pine cones and the crystals. Right. And I need green and yellow to make the blue crystals right so um which ones uh so to so to start i think what i need to do can is i take I need green to, right at the start or do you need that if i mean i need it to get you the pine cones i can do green right away and then send you the pine cones and okay. we can call it from there yeah if that's perfect. what you like yeah and then i can send, then send you green uh but then i'll have to work on the the <clears throat> crystals Okay. All right, let's pull this thing. Yeah, let's go it. for it. <coughs> the music's like, I don't know about this, dog. Seems like you guys really screwed up on this Yeah, one. this seems like uh, quite the fuck up. <laughs> That just dumps it like garbage. Okay. Okay. Let's hit this thing one more time. Okay, ready? Three, two, one, go! Okay. Whoop! Meow. Alright. I'm gonna take green. I'm gonna take that. I'm gonna take that. Two. Two pine cones, you said yes? Uh, yes, please. Oh, they make that a pain in the ass. You have to, like, keep moving it from, from pot to pot thing. That's stupid. All right. Sending all three to you. Okay. Sending you two roots. Um... And one mushroom. Uh oh. Sending you two gems. Do you need, uh, uh do you need, um, I'll grind this shit up. Oh, no, I need orange. Glad I didn't need another color. Uh, I need an another pot. Okay, pick yeah, this up. Yeah, I'm, I'm potless as well. <laughs> what? Did I not? Ay, ay, ay. Oof. Okay, let's see what we can create. Ay, 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 ay. How you doing over there? I'm just waiting for the pots to come back around. Uh, here, have a pot. I don't need this one, I don't think. A pot, please, in these trying times. Do you have a panacon? Oh my god. I do. A shredded um, panacon? No, not shredded yet. I'm still. I don't have red. I need red to shred. You need red to shred. I need red to shred, baby. Cowboy, baby. 
I'm a cowboy, baby. All right, here it comes. Here comes that sweet, sweet orange. Um. XOXO. So in theory, I could do this. And then I wait politely, or I do this, pick up. I just have to wait for one of the other ones to come. Okay. Send me something good. Okay, and then we need the green. Moved over here. Wait, no. Garp. Here so we can get another one of these. Okay, sending you over another pot. Um, uh, okay. We have... Uh, I don't need the pot right away. What I need is either ground uh, pine cone a ground or pine ground cone. crystal. I'm just... I'm wrestling with... I just don't have any pots to put things in currently. <laughs> it's all good. It's all good. I take from you. Um, Actually, there's a recycling thing. I think maybe that's to just get rid of shit. So I'm going to use that. Can you send me uh, orange, the red one? Uh, once I have a pot, I would love to. Oh, son of a bitch. Um, but it means I can't grind anything anymore. The, I mean, I don't need anything else grinded at the moment. Okay. Then yes, I can send you red. Beep, it's on the way. Excellent. Oh, you're so much better at this than me. I'm not, but I appreciate that. Okay. All right. Look at us. Oof. Oh, boy. That takes time. The little Jarzy Warzy is coming around still. There's an empty thing I'm sending to you. Okay. I'm gonna pick up the jar, and hopefully this plan works. Isn't doesn't backfire on my ass. Ay, ay, ay. Oh. Oh, I guess it puts it up in there. Okay. Crazy. Great. Um. So we have one red. And here are some more shiz. I'm gonna go over here and get you another crystal. Yes, please. I had to recycle one just to like get things moving. All good. There's another one. And then. If you can give me one more ground pine cone, I think we could get the red ones done, I guess. Uh, I need the red to do that. The red juice. On it. Maybe not. <laughs> not on it. Uh, do you have the ability to... Boy, we're already in the red. Man, alive. I know. It happens so fast. I'm sending you a well, pot maybe... if that's what you need. Uh, yeah, I, I, at the moment, I don't know that that... We won't do it I in guess time. I could get, yeah. Um, right, okay, so here's, this? so I think um, because these things take time to make anyway, I think maybe the strategy of like, I'm just going to send you three diamonds all at once. I don't think that that's serving us too much because it winds up with one person with all the pots at once and nowhere to really well, put the stuff. My assumption is that we would do the three blue right away is what I was thinking would happen. Okay. I mean, I can do that. Yeah, let's do the three blue right away. So I'll send you uh, so three I'll... crystals right away. Okay, and then I'll need yellow and green. So I'll take yellow and green immediately. Yeah, all I'm going to take is just three pots to get you crystals. Okay. And then we'll just straight up get blue done. Okay, let's just restart then... this then. Let's just, let's just right. do it. Oh, 
Okay. Uh, Call the shot. All right, it's on my side. I'm gonna wait until it's around to your side. Okay, here okay. it is. Three, two, one, go. One, two, okay. three. All right. Everything else is coming back over to you. Great. All right. Sending three crystals your way. Or two crystals and not picking up the third one. Ay, ay, ay. Third crystal sent your way. So that's happening. What else can I do? Okay, uh. first one's going. going. And third one. <clears throat> On the next step, I think, is you need to send me green I send you green. Okay. Send send me green plus two uh, bowls. Green and two bowls. Yes. Okay. And then, how do you get roots? Uh, I just grab them. I don't need like anything. So let me grab you two roots. Fantastic. Okay. Uh, I've got yellow and red loaded up. Um, I'm ready to grind crystals and uh, pine cones whenever. Excellent, excellent. Okay, I'll start grinding this crystal. Well, that's dumb. Why do I do that? Jesse, you big idiot. Um, you have over there pine cones coming to you. Yes, got them. Uh, I no longer need green. Okay. I'm um, gonna take blue because I need blue. Uh, I need the green to make those two pots. So. Green is yours then. Wonderful. Uh, I will need red. Okay. Once I'm done grinding stuff, I will. I will give that awesome. to you. Send it over. Here's the uh, ground crystal. You, I'm going to send you empty bowls because I imagine you'll need them more than me. Okay. Uh, here's your first pot. Thank you. And your second pot. Do you have the ground? One shrimp? ground almond. Almond? <laughs> uh, so you you buzz up the shrooms, but I have the shroom. I'll send it to you. Yes, please. Shroom on the way. Yes, please. Another ground pine cone. Is that everything? Shroom. Um, I will let you know. What I need is... Two of those. I need um I should have two ground pine cones. I need two ground pine cones. So Yeah, I think I, I think both that. of them have come around, right? Got them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So all I need to do is grind this stuff. So I need uh red, basically. It's I'm on the way. Good. 
Ooh, the lolly. Ooh, the lolly. Hey. What I really need is one more um, pot. I. It's on there. It's already. It's on the water. Oh, I mean, like besides the one that that you have there. Oh. Oh, I see. You needed three of them all along. Okay. Uh. Okay. Um, I need an empty pot then. I will send that to you in one second. No problem. Yeah, because I grabbed all the... Yeah, okay. All right, pot sent to you. Okie dokie, artichokey. Thank you. Thank you, artichoke powers. Boar, oh boar. Okay, it's cooking, it's brewing. Thank you. And it's on the water. Alright, then. Oh, yeah, yeah. Are there any empty pots around? Oh, Jesse, what have you done? I have nothing oh. on this side. What have you, you have done? everything. Oh, Jesse, what have you done, you big idiot? Now, now, um, we don't talk about ourselves that way. Oh, Jesse does. No. Not in my presence. I had to recycle one of your pots, I'm sorry. I actually can't believe this. Actually, you probably could have just poured out the yellow pot and given me back the thing. Shit! I think I screwed us. I think I have screwed us, and that is my bed. Uh, you need another pot? I will, yes. Okay, it's making. What attempt are we on? First try. Yes, chat. Yes, lie for us. I believe in you, Jessup. You got this. Yeah, I mean, we're done. It's just a matter of time. It just takes a little bit for this stuff to to pump. Mm. Oof. This is just clock watching now. Ay, 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 ay. One. Just back to clock watching. Ay, ay, ay. Well, while that does that, I'll hunt for this bottle. Do you have a bottle for me, River? River bottle. Who are you, River bottle? <laughs> Is there no river bottle? Yeah, it's coming around. Oh, I see it. Don't do that. Come on, game. It's right. Th we're literally almost done. Oh, it's God. It's, it's right there. Boo. Shit. I mean, like, we had it. It just time got us. Yeah. Okay. I do think I think you're right, and getting those blue crystals done right at the start freed us up to do a lot more quicker. Yeah. Okay. Um, I wonder if man because this side takes so long hmm. i wonder if once we do the crystals if it's not smarter to just do it instead of like send me two of this and two of that if it's just smarter to be like one at a time and then one at a time just because it takes last so time, yeah. long yeah yeah i, th I think that'll okay. it'll create less of a situation where we're like where are all the pots but it's because the yeah. pots are like loaded up with pre-made materials you know Okay, sorry. Holding mine down. All right. Uh, maybe, all right, maybe in order to save us time, mm -hmm. the plot should be, um, I send you four crystals at the beginning, right? Mm -hmm. You grind up one of the crystals, send it back, plus you send me a mushroom, a pot, 
and let me take the orange shit, and then we'll have one working over here, and then you can work on the blue stuff. You know what I mean? Sure. I will have to. That means I'll have to take. Uh, three of the colored liquids right at the start. That's fine. Okay. All I, at the start, I'm going to send you four crystals, and then all I need is the orange one whenever the time is. Okay. Cool? Yep. All right. Let's do this shit. Let's do this shit. Restart. Just trying to minimize the my downtime at the beginning when I send you everything. There's nothing I do for a while. Right, yeah. So I think that this time, I send you the crystals, you send me back the shredded crystal, plus the plus a pot, plus a shroom. And then if I take the orange reddish goo, then I can get one okay, started. Okay, go pull the thing. Go pull just... the thing now. Okay, on it. Say the word. Uh, yeah, that that was it. The word now. <laughs> Sorry. <right. laughs> That's okay. I might not be able to grab this stuff now. It might be around to your side by now. Yeah, it's gone. That's all right. I'm going to do one, two, three, four. Run over here and do this. <gasps> Let's go. Placing the crystals. Am I the only one who needs the blue? Do you have any spot for a blue? No, I don't need I don't need blue for anything. Fantastic. So that frees us up a bowl. I'm sending you one crushed up crystal, two pots. Uh, oh, you. actually, let me make you your third pot. Uh, I don't, uh, let's not worry about the third pot yet. Okay. I just need the red, I need the shrooms and like the other stuff. And then we're good. Okay. Crushed crystal goes in there. Lovely. Uh, I don't know if you needed two crushed crystals, but I crushed two of them. My bad. No, I don't. I just need the one, but it's all good. You can recycle the hell out of that. Or I'll recycle it and send you back a crystal. Yeah, because I'll need another crystal now. I fucked up. Yup. It's all good. No hex upped at all. Yeah, I just need uh, one shroom to shred. Yes. And uh, orange. your shroom uh do you want the orange now before i've yes, done the please. the pine cones okay yeah it's on the river just so we can get started on this one just because it's easier okay i need another crystal you've already got it coming to me hell yes Uh, okay. If you can you send me roots. around green whenever you have the time. Yep. And then I can send you pine cones. All right. Okay, here is green. Green is being made uh, for the top and bit. It'll roots. take a minute. Okay. And you already Got have green the and two roots. Lovely. Got I'll yellow back in green. that. Um, okay, and you're just going to need one more pot eventually, and I need the pine cones, and that's it. 
on my end at least. Pinecone one coming around. Thank you, thank you. All right. Sending you back that. Uh oh. Sending you that. Sending you pine cones. Oh nope. Sending you. I need the red if you're done with it. The hell? Boy, I hope I sent you two pine cones. I'm gonna feel real. You stupid. did. You did. Um, I just need the red to do something with them. Uh, give me one sec. No I'll problem. Send it back to you. <clears throat> shredding, just shredding shit. Oh my lord. We're making good time though. We're yeah, we're crushing time. it. Not to jinx us or anything, but we're doing really well. Okay, so I can get rid of this by sticking this in here. Oh, come on. Taking forever. Sending you red. Uh, you need one more pot as well, right? I need two pots total. And uh, those two shredded things back plus the red. And then I'm done over here. Excellent, excellent. Okay, we got a pine cone going. Hell yes. I'm gonna send you another empty pot. Just or empty bowl. Just in case. Yeah. Alright, I'm good over here. All I need to do is finish it out. We're good. Okay. Here is one crushed up pine cone. Here is one more pot. Hey. Uh, I'm uh. good on pots at the moment. Oh, I thought you needed one more, sorry. Um, no, 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 I'm alright. What color do you need? The red? Yes. Okay. And red and last pine cone. Okay, I think that's everything you need from me. That's it. We get started on this and then it's just we wait. Ooh, pick let's up. go. Pick up. Alright. That's one done. Now we just politely wait for them to finish. This should be our two reds, and then that's it. Then we gotta go down there right. and I guess press the thing. Hell yeah. This thing's so slow. Come on, come on. Yeah, come wow. On. It takes forever for that thing to make it, huh? Yeah, but the good news is I guess it like goes directly into it, which is fine. Mm. I don't know, it's rough. Come on, faster. All right, that's one done. <coughs> Great. Right. In you go, in you go, in you go, up you go here, up you go there. Last All one right. forming. All right, it's out of our hands now. <laughs> it's up to Puzzle God now. Yeah, it's, it's in the hands of God and anime, and that's it. That's it. Put this one last bowl back. You know, put these last two bowls back in the river. The bowls go to the river where they belong. I guess we just go down here and wait and pull the lever. Hmm. Nothing I can do over there. Yeah, baby! Get over here. Pull it. Let's go. Ahead of time, as God intended. Hell yes. Hell yes. First try. Ho ho. That looks beautiful. Match ho -ho. Perfect. Superheated liquid. Perfect, Beautiful. Perfect. Uh, all right, yeah. 
I, I guess. That up. Yeah, I don't know what we do with it now. Oh, uh, we go up here. Ooh, yeah, my door opened. Yeah. Oh, I can't run with this thing. It must be heavy. <laughs> oh. Ho, 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 ho. This is a very convoluted way of like, get into the escape pod. Okay, sure. I sit. This should be fine. Okay. This should be fine. It's cool. It's chill. Are we going up or down or I the don't know. center of the earth? Oh, okay. That's fine. Are we drilling? Is that what that noise? Are we drilling? To the center Maybe. of the whoa. Oh. Oh. Light? Is this a rocket? Are we dead? Do we take a rocket to heaven? <laughs> Birds. Oh. Hey, we're back in- Oh, it took us up. We're back in hell. Wait, what the? <laughs> How did that even work? I don't know. Was it a tube to a tube? How does I that think work? it's an elevator, yeah. But many, all right. Hey. Oh yeah, that's where we went originally over there. Right. Oh, this? That's normal. This is natural. Yeah, this is fine. Just the Raven King. Hi, buds. All I want is long after I'm gone to have a statue erected in my honor where ravens circle it menacingly. <laughs> right? Is it too much to ask? That would be great. Right? People are like, why do ravens circle that thing? And they're like, it is the statue. It's haunted it is. Like, that's all I want. There are actually quite a few of them around here. Oh my goodness. That's haunted statues? Good. No, evil ravens. Oh. So where we were at the chapel, right? Right. We came down here and we went to the underwater bit. Yep. Which was here. Yep, so now we need to go over to here, I guess. This way. We were given three directions and we've we've been one, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. So I'm starting to think, did you go up this path, this windy path over nope, here? Nope, I'm behind you. Oh Jesus. Well, I found a crypt. That's nice. Not good. Very cool. Let's Nothing, go. We can't, we can't go in it. Open up! Knock, knock. Let us in. Don't you know who Let I am? The Crypt I, Keeper. I have a death wish. The Crypt Keeper. Okay, I guess we go a different way. Oh. What is this way? What is this? What is all this? What is this down here? Oh, over here. Hmm? Come back to the statue. Oh, sorry. I found this weird light area. Come back to the statue. Okay. Back to the, back to the statue. Back we will be jealous reality. of her whole life. Yeah. I guess the crows wanted us to go to the statue. Yes. Um. Okay, come here. Up here. Mm -hmm. Oh. Is this not how we got down here to begin with? I feel like this is, we came from up there. Am I crazy? I don't know. Did we? I think so. I feel like it would be weird for it to let us do this if we weren't meant to go up here. Uh, I think there's three things down there and this is the... I mean, we literally just got here, right? And that's the first thing we did was was the underwater bit, so... Right. I don't particularly know. Yeah, this is where we were. These are those that's very it. attractive statues. Very attractive statues. Statues that is entirely okay. normal to like and enjoy. Okay, cool. 
I forgot that you're cursed. Uh, I'm not cursed. Uh, Look at your arm, homie. You're, gently. You're a bit altered. cursed. You're a bit gently cursed. Altered. I have uh, fate wielding bracers. Alright, so we have this. We went to the underwater area. So we have. I guess where we went to was Nautilus. Is that what that says? Yeah, Nautilus is where we went to. So we have Nautilus. Rock the vault, and the which vault. I think is that way. And so maybe Rock Furry is where we go? This way over sure. here? This this bit? This looks like a thing. This was the direction that I tried to go, but I couldn't find anything to click. So I thought maybe this was where we came from. But you're right, it's not, so. Maybe it's back in here? Oh, boy. Oh. oh, look at this. Nope, that's it, huh? Is it out here? Is it this thing right here? See, this here? is what I was wondering, yeah. Ah, uh, looks like there's a crank. I know, oh. but it, I can't click on it at least. Can you? Yes, no, I cannot. Maybe that weird castle thing that we came, like, we came out of next to? Up here? Whatever the hell, like, we came out next to a thing and we just kind of, like, didn't deal with it. We came out here. We went in over there. Came from there. And there's no way up there. And we can't get into here. And this is a nothing. That's probably the exit for this area up here. What? Don't make no bloody sense. Let us in. Let us in, creepy mausoleum. Hmm. Is there anything up here that opens something? Nope. What the levels of balls? Why can't we go what? in here? And, um, I guess it's meant to be the third thing you do. Yeah, perhaps? I don't... <coughs> but there's two... Uh, there's one other thing... Maybe we go back into the Nautilus area? That doesn't make a lot of sense. Hold no, on, No, surely not. I'm gonna go look. Oh, I am. Yeah, that was the that was the railroad track, and we took that. And we can't get back up there. I feel like I'm taking crazy pills. This is, this is what happens when you take two weeks off from a game, dude. I know. Oof. We're too old. We're too old for that. I can't figure out. This is lit. Like, we're supposed to go this way. But I don't know... Why would it not let us go this way? We're trying to solve your damn puzzle game. This seems like a, uh, I don't know. Oh, I don't How do I get up there? So again, we have the chapel, Rockbury, Nautilus, and the vault. And we have, we can go to all of them. I feel so dumb. I don't know what. I, honest to God, don't know what to do here. Either we go Me back, neither. but that's where we came from. 
Maybe there's something around this that we can click or look at. Like, okay, I very much understand. <laughs> People in chat are like, just the vault's the easiest. Great. We can't even get into the vault. Like, I don't know. Do we both have to be there for it? I mean, we were both up there. here oh my god what well I can pick up the thing that you got what thing oh the oh my god and then we put it wait and then we put it on this up here what are you at this come, come up here hey hey buddy when you wait. stay up here i over can't here. i can't over here know. what are we trying to do with it look there's a space right here for something oh shit what's that do i don't know do you think we need to fill the rest in I don't know. Maybe let's try pulling it and see if it does something different. Sure. It's probably going to take us right to where we were. Did you do anything? Oh, maybe we're meant... Oh, maybe we're meant to take this into the church and we can get, like, below the church or something? I don't know. Maybe this is just a way to transport it or... I don't know. What was... Just a game, the game's way of winking at you, like, hey, you're meant to take this up here. I would be blown away if there were three separate puzzle areas down there, but you don't have to do all three, only one works. No, 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 no. I think one of them is up here. That's what I'm saying. One of the this signs. Is I know, but one of the signs points this way. I think that there's more up here. This is a reminder to, like, get back? That doesn't make any damn sense. You can, can you take that with us? I don't see why not. So we need to they put it in one of these slots. It. Yeah. Oh shit, look at us. So we need to get two more. You can say All it. Right. I've got a huge brain. Yeah, no, your brain is enormous. Thank you. <laughs> okay. One of the leave, biggest brains again, I've ever seen in my entire life. <laughs> Only accentuated by your brand new haircut. Thank you. I know, right? Um, I've had multiple people say I look more and more like a bobblehead today, and uh, I take it as a compliment. You're no I mean, like, that's because bobbleheads have such high brain capacity. It's because they have such big brains. I know. That's why their heads bobble. Because their brains, it's, there's too much for the rest of their body. Yep. That's giga brain. I'm aware. Uh, what can I say? I would have I would have not made that call. Which makes me think now, because we turned that in, now it's going to open something up. Maybe. That sense? That's why you're the smart one. Maybe. That's why I'm the looks, and you're the smart one. <laughs> They bring me on for the sex appeal, and they bring you on for the brains. I get it. I get it. It's good that we know our roles, you know? I always have. I mean, it's the easiest one. When you're, when you're born looking this good, it's it's hard to do anything else. Okay. Let's run Let's back try this to vault again. skeleton door, yeah, and see if anything's skeleton happened to door. it. Skeleton door. Open before us. Please. Skeleton. Oh, it's open! Yeah, oh, baby. Yes. You, were, you were totally right. God. Well, that's why you're the smart one. Huge. Huge. Massive brain. Massive giant brain. Oh, 
Oh, so we have to close one door in order to open another. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> they kept going for hours. <laughs> Okay. All right. Nothing like a bit of creepy. All right, I'm gonna make the assumption that we should yellow, green. Nope, they're just all yellow, green. Okay. I was like, maybe these colors mean something. No, just we're going. Haunted. We're just, just going. Haunted it's just stuff. haunted bullshit in here. Story of my life. We're about to get smooched by a jester. There are crows everywhere. Ooh, ooh, what is this? Oh, what's this over here? What the hell was that? Where did you go? Uh, I'm opening a thing. I probably shouldn't have though. Oh God, I fell down a well. <laughs> I watched it happen. I watched you do it. I, I, watched, I, I watched you do it. Okay, well, guess I'm not going that way. It of a lies tool. hidden within the vault. I'm sure of it, but I could not find the keys. That's on a, a letter that I just found. All right, well, I'm going to go up into the vault, I guess. I guess that's me. Hello? Oh, great. I'm in the place with the thousand crows. Nice. Nice. Uh, that's fun. Okay, I might be stuck until you go in. I'm looking at the. Oh no! Oh no! Well, I. Okay, I found a, a bricked-up area. <gasps> I'm I'm on the other side of a bricked-up area. I found several bricked-up areas. Oh my god! Okay. So I, and I also found another well. Hello. And I can pull snow up from that well? Does that do anything useful for us? Oh, weird. Okay, well. So I am in a very big open area. Oh, oh okay, I got through. Oh, you did? Yeah, um, I found a pickaxe. Oh, amazing. Okay. So maybe I need you with that pickaxe to come help us. Yeah, maybe. What the hell is this thing? Okay, so I have... There appears to be a tombstone. And on half the tombstone is an order of operations. Things I need to press in order to unlock something. But I don't have the first four, and I need the uh, the first four in order to make the rest of this. Okay. And it's like an order of pressing things, it looks like. Okay. Let me look around. Yeah, I'm going to keep looking. Maybe there's something around here that's the oh, other half. Oh, little spider boy. Okay. Um, okay, that's blocked by a tree. A lot of spiders in this place. Warnings for spiders. Chat. A lot of spiders in this place. Hmm. Um, okay, I found a thing. Okay. I well, found a, uh, like a metal gate. It has buttons on it that I can pick up, I guess. Okay, what are these pickup buttons? Uh, so there are four symbols up top that I can't move, and then four symbols down below that I can move. You said there are four, there are four like doors that are blocked for you, right? Yes. Okay. So the symbols that I can't move are a sword, a shield, a crown, and another sword. Ah, uh, okay. Mine is a sword, a shield, a crown, and a book. A book. Interesting. Yeah. Um, and then below are symbols that I can move. One of them seems to be like a minimalist clock. 
One is chains, one is a potion bottle, and one is a crown. Interesting. I have two crowns, a chain, and a book that are unmovable. Okay. Maybe. Hold on. Hold on. Okay, the crowns go together. The crowns go together. Yes. So, so I put one crown beneath the other crown, and they locked into place. Oh. Oh. Okay. Can I transfer? I'm sorry. I'm getting a. I'm getting a phone out. That's okay. So I can take a photo. All right. There we go. All right. So. Can I? I'm gonna try something. Do you have the ability to receive things from a well? Like, do you see uh, yes, a well? Yes, there's, there's a, a thing that I can place stuff in. I think we can swap symbols. So I'm gonna I'm gonna put something in it right now. Uh, do you have okay. a lever or something that you can press? I do have a lever that lets me pull stuff. Like I can drop a thing down to you and then pull it back up. But I don't know if we're connected, if that's connected between us. Hmm. Like I have a thing here that has, it's like a bucket that has snow in it. I can't tell if that's. Oh, no, mine is like built in. It's, it's the same mechanism as when we were swapping heads back and forth with the, with the uh, poetry puzzle sure. about the family. Um, oh, and then on the side I have half of a diagram that is shield, goes into sword, goes into clock, goes into crown. That's what I need. So I have the other half of that diagram. I'm looking at, uh, looking at it right now. It's on my phone. Okay. So that is 100% what I need. Okay, so, um, so coming down in like an arch from the top right going to the left, I guess, if that's helpful, because it seems like that's the, that's the other side that you have. Sure. So going from the top is the crown with uh, three spikes at the top. Gotcha. The minimalist clock. Okay. A sword. Okay. And then a shield. Crown with three, minimalist clock. I don't have a clock. I have the a clock. A sword and then a shield. was next to the, the the other thing the crown hmm? oh maybe i need a chain oh i have the chain fascinating so maybe you need to send me the chain <laughs> yeah i don't know how to send anything clock. though i have the the thing to put it in like i i put the chain in there but i don't know how to make it go so i'm wondering if that's on your side so i i mean i just am overwhelmed because i have so much shit Okay, yeah. Like it's... there is an entire like there is a level this is all outdoors. There's like a level's worth of stuff. That's totally fine. Take your time. I guess I don't know. I'm gonna I'm gonna double back and look How around a little work? bit just to make sure I didn't miss anything. There's a there's yeah, there's a well here. This is my brain is fried right now. I don't know what. Okay. I don't know what to do. So I so. Oh, I so have just in case it's helpful. Mm -hmm. One more time. Uh, this note says it lies hidden within the vault. I'm sure of it, but I could not find the keys.
I don't know. Um, when you send a thing up, send send a thing up to me. I can't. I have no button to send anything. I have a I have a place to put it, and it obviously closes and takes it somewhere. But I have no button to do that. Oh shit! Unless I'm a super blind, but I've tried I've tried clicking everywhere. Yeah, I need... So it looks like anything... So it looks like, for example, if you have a book, you can either put that with the chain or with the potions, for example. Like, I think that's what it's it's trying to be. Okay. Send, oh Jesus Christ. <sighs> He's okay. I just don't know what this machine, I have a machine here that I can put stuff into and it will maybe send it to you. I don't know, man, um, I have no idea. I mean, a lot of times I have a we, machine here. we figure stuff out by just like overly describing stuff. So maybe tell me exactly what the machine looks like. It is straight up just a machine that I originally thought was a tube or some kind of thing that would uh, s like suck something up or put something down once we'd solved the puzzle. Yep. But apparently it is related to the actual subtle, subtle puzzle solving process. Yes. So I guess I can put the little the little stone beast pieces in there and have then you, i don't know maybe putting you can one get in them? No maybe if we both put one in they swap uh okay yep all right you ready it or i mean it, it just oh. did a thing yeah what did it, what did you swap with me i mean it didn't swap anything but suddenly did you just do something did you put a piece in or yeah it uh, it turned around like um, it was giving it to you, but it's still the same piece. Interesting. Same. So maybe the other one shows up somewhere else, but where would it show up? I don't know. Um, maybe maybe. Oh, wait. Maybe um, we have to swap. Uh, we have to, that's what this, oh my god, that's what this, this rock is, this, um, this thing that we each have half of, it's saying that these are the, these are the ones that can swap with each other, maybe, so, like, I can swap the clock with a sword, maybe, and, like, stuff like that, maybe, I don't know. Alright, what if I give you the sword? Okay, I will give you a clock, and we'll see if it works. I have hey! the sword. Great. Oh my god. Nice. Okay. Okay. Okay, but it doesn't want to be there. Sword and shield. Okay, great. Two of mine work now. Okay. Do you need another shield or are you good? Um, I don't I don't know. I so my last two symbols that I can't move are swords. So maybe do you have two shields? Yeah, I have a shield. Okay, so a shield can swap with a sword, but I don't have a sword. Um, can a shield swap with anything else? Not on my side. A shield can only swap with a sword, it looks like. I can take I it back I mean, It looks like I don't out, need a though. clock. I have no clue what... The clock didn't work in any of my slots. The clock might just be to trade things. I don't know. You need a book slot? I don't know. I, I have no idea what I need. So I guess let's try. What can swap with a book? Um, a book can swap with a chain or a potion. Okay, I'll give you a chain. Uh, that did nothing. 
Sorry. Put in book. Yay, book. All right. Okay. Chain achieved. A right. uh, chain can swap with a book or a crown. Nope. The book doesn't do anything for me. Well, I can use the book if you want to trade it back to me. Okay. I'll trade you the clock for the book. Can we do that? Okay. Uh, the clock. Sh nope. Th yeah, the clock will only trade with. Um... Can I trade you the uh, shield for the book? Uh, I can't take. I can't take a shield out. My shield is um, what's, what's locked in. You can actually unlock it. How? I think the idea is that we have to keep trading even the locked things. No, I can't. We I can't the unlock the top row. My bottom row I can unlock, but I can't unlock the top row. Right, uh, that's what I'm referring to. The bottom row. We have to to essentially be able to pull all these out and be able to switch back and forth and keep trading until we find what fits with what we have up above. Um. Okay. So wait, hold on. So what symbols, what do you think you need? Have you tried placing stuff, I assume? Yes, so what I need for sure is either a potion. I've got that. A chain. I've got that. A, um, I guess a, uh, uh, yeah, just potions and chains and books are what I need. Okay, so you're the magic user and I'm the, I'm the, bashy dude I guess so okay so so I need if you have them it looks like I need two shields I need the crown and I need the sword I have a shield but and only one. I have only one shield and I have a, a clock okay That's maybe it. maybe a clock works in one of these spots um, okay, so what can trade with the book? Um, a chain or a potion. Okay, what can trade with a potion? Only a book. Okay, so I have to give you the book back for you to get the potion. All right, so I have to give you the chains. Okay. I'm gonna get that. Okay. Okay, and then I will book give achieved. you the, the potion. All right. Okay, potion achieved. Okay. And what else trades with the book? Uh, chains. And you have the book and the chains, I think. I do. <laughs> um, okay. So I need to give you the chains to get the book, and then what can trade with the chains? Um, the multi-pointed crown, the, the five-pointed okay. crown, or the book can trade with the chains. Okay, so I'll put the chains back in there. Okay. I don't have a book. All I have right now oh, is a clock oh, and a shield. Oh, sorry. I give you the you book. You have everything associated, yeah. Wait. So if you give me the book, I have to give you the potion back. <laughs> Wait, what the fuck? Wait. So yeah. I have okay, okay. What? Tr oh my God! What trades with the multi-pointed uh, crown? Something. Uh, it looks like it is a uh, uh, the three-pointed crown and chains. Okay, and you don't have a three-pointed crown, correct? I do. I do have a three-pointed crown. Oh, okay. Let's trade crowns then. Okay. And then All you right. can trade that crown for the chains, correct? Yes. Okay. And okay, then you can trade that for the book. Sure. Okay, have it. And then And then this, and then we s mm, swap crowns back? I don't have a crown to swap. A 
Okay, but you do have the clock. I do have the clock, yes. Okay, throw the clock in there. Clock. Excellent. Okay, and then I'm I'm putting in the Whew, okay, I'm putting in the multi No. You're using oh my god. Brain. What I need is the chain. Yes. And then I'm good. And what do you need to get the chain? Either the multi, the five-pointed crown, or the book. But I also need the book, apparently. But you have the book. I do. But in order to get the chain, I have to give you back the book. No, because you can get you can get the you can get the chain through the crowns, correct? Through the five crown, yes. Okay. Um. Okay. So I have the five crown. Wait. So, oh my god. So do we swap what crowns? What is the shield trade? I have the shield, and I do not need the shield at all. The shield only trades with swords. You have a sword. Yeah. Let's trade the shield and the sword. Okay. So now I have a sword, and the shield uh, it can just get out of the way. You can, if you need to use the shield, you can use that in some way. And what does the sword trade with? Um, sword can trade with the clock, which I have, or the shield. Okay. Um, and then the clock trades with what again? And the clock trades with the three-pointed crown, which I think trades with the five-pointed crown. So, I can give you back the so the clock trades with the three-pointed crown, you said, yes? Yeah. But you need the five-pointed crown to get the chain back. Yes. So, yes. let's trade crowns again? Okay, yeah. Okay, and then, then... And then I put the chain in, and you put your crown in. Um, hold on. We still need to get... I still need to get the sword back to you. Right. So, you said the sword and the clock, right? Yes. Okay, let's do the... And the clock connects to the three crown, right? Yes. So, I'll give you the sword. If you give me the clock... But then I'll have the clock and the three crown. But then I can give you the big crown for the clock. Yes? Uh, the, the three crown is what attaches to the clock. Bigger crown attaches to the other crown. Sure. Um, let me give you this. Okay. Let me give you the sword. Switch it back to me. Okay. Okay. Okay, I have the clock. Now the clock connects to the... Give me the the three yep. crown. Boop. Yep. Okay. Now, wacky enough... Technically, my end is solved. Oh, F me, that's not true. I need the chains. I yes. have the book. Can I trade you the book for the chains? Yes. I think my side is done. You don't need the book? Nope. Oh, I thought you did. Nope. Looks like I'm good. Um, if it's correct, we'll see. But my side is complete. Do you... Okay, I still need... Uh, I need... The multi-pointed crown. Gotcha. So that means I need the book. <laughs> okay. Okay. 
So, what we'll have to do is I will trade you. Oh, Jesus, criminy Christmas. Um. What don't you need that you have? Um, I, I, I don't know what connects to this last sword. Oh, it's the clock. Okay, so I do need the clock. So you need the clock. Yes, the clock is. I need the clock, and I need the multi-pointed uh, crown. All right. So I need the book back. Um, okay. I put the book in there. How do I get it though? I guess I could give you the chain for the book. Okay. All right, I got the book, and then you give me the chain for the multi crown. Okay. And I think that's it. And then that's it, yeah. Perfect. Great. Woo. Okay. Oh my god. I still don't know what 90% of this area is. Most of this area is like locked off shit that I. Alright, whatever. Down I go. Gonna light this place. Gonna keep it from getting too spooky. Wrong way. Clicky noises down here. I'm gonna just go somewhere else. Hey, spider fellow. Oh, hey, bud. So there's something going here. Oh, uh, let me get out my trusty pickaxe. Yeah, pickaxe. I got a Dude. curse. Maker of the clock. She admired the peacock. Puzzle room. Ooh, okay. Um, one second, look anywhere else first. Oh, there's nothing over here. Okay. <coughs> okay, so there's a well that I cannot go into. Um, okay. Question. There, yes. The well that you cannot go into. Does that well do anything when I do this? Uh, yes. Excellent. Here you go. Here's a pickaxe. Bring it back up. Oh my sweet god. This is what it was for. We did it. You are free. It's the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. All right. Uh oh, so now I can take this pickaxe and go to town on these damn walls. I think, in theory, mm -hmm. smash it. Great. Okay. So, oh no. What is the riddle here? Do you have any kind of, uh, swan something? Is there a swan symbol? Um, okay, yes. So, uh, there is a thing about four different birds and also mm -hmm. the four scientist families that we already looked at. Um, okay. So, let me, let me tell you what's going on in my room. Uh because it's a lot. So there's uh, a thing um, laying out the four um, like a glass blazer, clock and marker, that all those families. And then if I go down little tunnels, I see um, family trees for each of them. And then right. there is a door with four hands and each hand has a key. So I assume we have to figure out a puzzle associated with the families um there are uh coffins and some coffins have clues in them very much akin to the last time when we were 
trying to figure out like so and so goes next to her brother who does not go next right. to blah 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 right mm -hmm. um i think we're matching up families with birds potentially because there's four families and four birds of course of course so i have i have um several areas that are uh ones themed after clockwork stuff which i figured is the first place to go because of the gears and stuff that we saw down below okay i have one that is themed after like a uh, construction Mm -hmm. One that is themed, um, where is it at? One that is themed after paint. It's basically the people that we met before. Yes. Right? Yep. And the one that is themed after the gears, when I go inside of it, there's a bunch of, uh, like burial grounds kind of things. Tons of tombstones. But there are four names that have a swan next to it. Or above okay. it. Um, Cybrand and Robin, Alide and Swanhild um, are the people that are the swans here. But there's also a peacock here as well for some reason that I just noticed for the first time. So that's interesting. Yeah, so... I have no idea. So maybe I can break down the other ones and we can take a look inside and see what's up. So the birds are, um, it says, many deceased hoped to be guided into the afterlife by birds that they loved in their, in their life. So there's a, sure. a falcon, a robin, a peacock, and a swan. I um, see. Falcon, okay. robin, peacock, swan. In fact, some dude is literally named Robin. Uh, well, there you go. Um, I, so I, you know how I was saying that each one has like a family tree? The Klockenmacher yes. one, I only have half of, so it looks like it's been ripped in half. Um, and I have, oh my gosh, I feel like I'm gonna need to write these down. That's Steel, Final Descendant of Glassblazer. Okay, let me look through all of these different. Glassblazer. Um, this also says five keys are buried with denizens of our town left for those that defy the wicked crown. Ooh. Oh, a maker of the clock admired the peacock. A maker of the clock admire the peacock. Gotcha. That's one. Uh, so I know where that's at. So we have to go to... Also, there's two people named Robin, apparently, now. That's crazy. So a maker of the clock. So back to the clock area. Admire the peacock. So I know exactly where that is. And that is right over here. That's Truden. Um, okay, hold on. Sorry. I'm going to try and find it. Okay. Um, yes. I got a key. Yes. One Truden. Key. Truden is, I think, the daughter of Robin. So do I, do we know which Robin? There are two. Oh, actually, there uh, are three Robins. Holy shit! There, it, uh, does it denote their sex or gender? Because these do. Um, this is a Swan Robin, and there was a Robin Robin. Um, but there's nothing about gender. I have years they were alive. Swan Robin. So you think one is referring to the bird and one is referring to the person? Well, there are three. Each cemetery has someone named Robin in it. Okay. Um, does it say, does it have like a spouse name or anything like that? Nope. These are all one named things. And except this one says Robin, then literally has a Robin. Okay. So it wouldn't be that, right? Because it said the the maker of the clock loved the peacock. Well, I already got that one. I got the key from that. We're oh, good. Oh, 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 okay. So, sorry. I'm confused about where we are now then. <laughs> Basically, I have three separate cemeteries. Each one above it has a symbol from the different uh, guilds that we've met before. And in each of these micro cemeteries is like, I don't know, 10 tombstones. And on those tombstones are repeating names but 
there are ones, for example, there's a robin in each of the three cemeteries, but only on one is there a robin with a picture of a robin above it. The other ones okay. are just like the name robin. So in so that situation, that I think something. the robin is their bird, like that family's bird. Okay. Um, so would we then smash, so basically I'm smashing these graves open to get the keys. Okay. So now that you've done that, the the clue that said uh, the maker of the clock loved the peacock or whatever that that clue is is wiped out now. So we know great. That, so I must have done it correctly. Yeah, we know that we did that. Um, All right. So are is there anything left to do with the clockmaker family? Uh, I boy, no clue. Okay. I mean, I'm just... Shall all I, I can read do you is another mash clue? Open. Is that going to be helpful? Yes. Okay. Very. Okay. Um, so, next clue. Let me find one. Next clue is... The final descendant of the glass blazer line. Boy, yes. Hello? 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 Did you disappear? What happened? I don't know. Did I disappear? You said you said the final descendant of the glass blazer line and then yep. cut out. Oh, well that's all I said. Oh. Well what the hell does that mean? It's the it's the final descendant of the glass blazer line, so I can look at the at the family tree and tell you what name that is. So the glass blowers who are the freaking glass blowers? Were they these people? The paint men? Um, the final descendant is a name with three X's on it. There is a, is a name with three X's. Yeah, but there is another clue about a, a name with three X's. Let me see if I can find it. I see three X's for sure. Oh, uh, I guess try bopping it. Well, I've seen, here's the thing is I've seen three X's in multiple places. His XXX marked grave lies in his father's row. What the mm, shit? Wait a minute. His XXX Mark Grave lies in his father's row. So, I assume maybe, do we know who the father is? What did we say their thing was? Because uh, this isn't... The glass blower. Okay, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Let's backtrack a little bit because I found I found one. I'm so sorry. I found one that no, I. It's all right. I am. I'm. I'm confused as shit. So yeah, like, help the, me. These please. like these like coffin clues are all over the place. But this applies to what we were talking about earlier. Um, okay. Chose the bird he loves as his son's name. Um. So, uh, is there one? Yeah, because that's a that's a son. So, okay. uh, Engel, E N G H E L, Engel Steenauer. Engel. Mm hmm. Right, well, there's no one named Engel in this section. So, it should be the more what? like construction themed. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm headed over there. Engel. Engel. E N G H E L. I see an angle. Okay. And what are we trying to figure out here? Bop it. You want me to bop angle? Yep. Oh, a ghost! That won't. That weren't it. Okay. Nope. I'm being haunted by a ghost now. Oh wait, what the fuck? There's two angles on here. What? You should have not been haunted by a ghost. Oh my but god, a, but you don't have a ghost? No, homie, it's because it said, it says, <laughs> chose the bird he I loves as his, as his son's name. This one has a boy named Robin who was born from a dude named Angle. I just got ghosted by Dodger. I want everyone to know that. A ghost literally is in my ear now that's like, Robin. Coming to eat your soul. That shit's happening to me right now. <laughs> I don't know how to cure myself. Dodger. Oh my God. There are robins Dodger. everywhere. Yes. 
I got a freaking ghost in, like, on me. I am cursed and I have a ghost on me. Oh I know, but like, you don't have to be so dramatic about it. <laughs> <laughs> Where is this? Um. Uh. Okay. So you said there was in the construction thing. Yes. Yeah, I'm, but now, okay, look, dude, I don't, I thought that that was going to be really straightforward, but I'm realizing there are boys named Robin in every fucking family, so we'll come back to that, I guess. Okay, what was the... The Steenhauer who sleeps beside the, her brother. Under the Masons, underneath the Masons, the people that were building shit, what was... So Truden was this guy. That worked out fine. So who is... Okay, I'm back looking at the builder family. What's up? All right, so under the builders, what was the clue that you had? What clues did we oh, have? Oh, it was... I don't even know. The, the clues don't say what family they apply to unless it's in the clue. This one says, chose the bird he loves as his son's name. Um, and in the Builder family, uh, there's a, there's a dude who has a son named Robin, but one of the other families also has two lines of men named Robin. Mm-hmm. So, uh, eh. Is there anything else about this area? The, the Steenhowers? Um, I, I honestly don't, they, there's no last the name that I'm aware of. The construction of, like, family? Yeah, the construction people. Okay, stay there. Let me look at all the clues again. I think the clue that I just looked at earlier was Steenhauer, but I'm going to double check it. Final descendant of the Lost Blazers. Steenhauer who sleeps beside her brother. Okay, wait a sec. Steenhauer who sleeps beside her brother. And. Okay. Um. Oh. So. Okay. Hold on. Yes. I assume Imhotep, I, I, Imhotep. I assume that's not this person. No, that's the mother of of some of the kids. So there and are two. And what was Engel again? Engel. So Imhotep, or however you would pronounce the name. I'm so sorry to our viewers. Um, uh, had two kids named Engel and Ida. And then there's, uh, in this same family, there's Gertrude and Alvin, who had three kids, Svanhild, Folkerd, and Ida. So there's two Idas and one Svanhild. Um, we're well, how looking... is Engel related to Gertrude? Uh, Engel would be Gertrude's nephew. Nephew. And how is Gertrude related to... Imsote? <laughs> uh, it looks like they were sisters. So what was that one so clue about sister? So it's a sister who is who's I guess their their grave is next to their brother. So Engel is the brother of Imsote and Gertrude. Oh, then Gertrude. Right? Gertrude. I don't know. I don't see what you see. There's two angles, so so that makes me nervous. Jesus. Got so it. I, Got it. Yeah? That was right? Gertrude was correct. Okay, yes. great. Whew, okay. Okay. We have a key from the uh, uh, Masons. We have a key from the gear people, whatever the hell they're called. What's the clue for... Uh, what's the clue for the... What are these people called? The... I There's, think they're, they're the liquid metal people, whatever the hell they're called. Oh, yeah. Um, they are the... <coughs> Bronzegeiter family. Okay. Um, I don't know that we have any clues that say specifically they're for the Bronzegeiter family. But let me look at it. 
shit, this area's got so many freaking... Oh, that's a blouse blouse right there. No. <laughs> okay. Bronze Guider. Um, this is the family that has two, two generations of male robins. Yes, I've seen them both. Okay. Um, so, Isbrant is their father. I see Isbrant. Um, there are two Isbrants in this family. <laughs> oh, never mind. I see Isbrant the younger then. Oh, okay. So, Isbrant the older. I get. Oh, there's three Isbrants in this family. I want to die. There's All right, so I see a 1207 to 1285. Okay. He's Brant, and that looks to be the oldest one that I can see at the moment. Um, oh, I see a 1252 to 1320. Yeah, the the 12, well, the first one I the the one I just mentioned before is the oldest one. If that helps. Okay. So he's um, Brant. So that's 1207 to 1285. That's possibly someone who chose his favorite bird. Um, to name his son? To name his son. Oh, wait. No, 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 no. No, it can't be because that Robin married into the family. Okay, so that's eliminated. Okay, that's good. That's good. That's good. Okay, Do hold I on. dig up Yzbrandt's grave? No. Okay. Don't do anything. Don't do anything to that. Not. I, won't, I won't do anything. Um, okay. We're, we're figuring it out. We're figuring it out. Okay, so we're back. We're back to this bullshit here. Named his son Robin. It's this. I feel like it's this. It's where we were before, but maybe we did the wrong angle. Um. There's several Robins here. That's for sure. Did you? So not in the Bronze Guider family, but in the the like construction family. The angle that you broke open. I didn't realize there were dates on there. Um, yes, they're they're birthday. Uh, okay. Death date. So. The, the angle that you broke, was it the younger one or the older one? Oh, I do not know. It was an angle that it was the it was the brother you said of the the two sisters. It was, okay. Yes. Dance gaming, thank you, eh, Dan. What a lovely, what a lovely sweetie pie. Hi, Dan. You um this was two. Angle, so it's the one where, so, Im, Imsoete and mm -hmm. Gertrude. Apparently, and Engel apparently that's a Frisian name. Uh, it's a food, hell of a name. Food for thought. Uh, yeah, the clue is literally just chose the bird he loves as his son's name. Um, so this angle has a son named Robin, and if that's the one you broke and we got dinged for it, then. I guess no, I'll... I haven't broken any robins. I broke an angle. No. Yeah, because because it the clue is referring to chose the bird he loves as his son's name. So we're looking for the dad. So it should have been that angle. But I'm going to look at every other family tree. And what is this under? I don't think it's... We, we have cleared the... We've gotten the key from the, the masons. And we've gotten the key from the clockwork people. Are we only so getting one key per family? I believe so. It makes sense because the keys oh. look like the symbols. So like the key for the masons is a hammer. The key for the clockwork people is a bunch of gears, right? So my assumption is we okay. need a key for this other family, so which we is be focusing on the bronze guiders and the glass blowers, yeah. There's a glass oh boy. Um give me one sec. <laughs> no prop. I haven't found a glass blower cemetery. Oh boy, the glass blazers, yeah. That's not good. What the shit is that? Oh, that was a rock. I thought there was like a demon watching me. Uh, where was the where was the three X's? The three X grave. Oh, um, I've seen it twice so far. Oh, here it is. I found the glass. Dude. Okay. Um, there's uh, now I've seen the three X's three times. Oof. Okay. In three different places. In three different places. Yes. Um, but so it one only of, matters now because there's two. 
So right now I'm in the yeah, glass of, blower section. Yeah, I think the clue for the glass blowers was the youngest descendant of the of that family, and it oh. that it would be the XXX. Wait, the, the youngest final descendant, descendant of the the final descendant of the glass blazer line. And if I look at it, the final dis well, I guess that's not true. Whoever the final descendant is is whoever is the youngest out of these kids. Right, so that well, would then be I up guess to it'd be Ren Renwee is 1339 appears to be the youngest. Okay, yeah, whatever the latest date is of of who who was born I don't be in haunted. that group, right? Hey, we're good. Okay, Got amazing. It. All right. Oh, okay. Boy. So now the okay. only one left is uh, is the the. The one that looks like a, a pouring cup of coffee. Yeah. Yeah. That's where I'm headed. Okay, we're starting to figure this out. This is confusing, but we got it. All right. Okay. So these people, what is the thing for them? Bronze guider. Um, we don't. I don't know what a clue is for them currently, because not all of the clues like specify a family. What was the thing about the XXX? I haven't messed with anything XXX yet. Uh, there isn't an XXX in their family line. Unless you see one, in which case um, maybe I, There is an XXX here. Yes, I've seen it several times. Yeah. Oh, okay. Look at it right now. What was the XXX clue? We haven't done anything with that clue yet. Um, let me find it again. His XXX marked grave lies in his father's row. Oh. And was the father he's Brant? Is that what we discovered? I don't see any no. X's on, on the Bronze Guider list, so I don't know. You said he's Brant was one of the things, and I was like, can I break this open? And you're like, don't do that. So if Yee's Brant, and then the XXX lies in his row, I'm looking at the XXX in that row right now. Okay. Do you want to go for Should it? Should I? Hell yeah, let's do it. Amazing. Oh. Bless. Got it. All right. Um, Here you go. Four keys. Okay. But this this says five keys buried. What? So we might need we might need five, but I'll try putting those four in for now, and we'll see what happens because I only see four slots currently. Am I sending them to you? Yeah, can you? Yeah, I gotta go back These up. These spiders to this are thing. so jank. I love it. Can I send you this ghost as well? Sure. Great, thank you. No problem. Can I place all these? No. I'm there for you always. One at a time. There you go. I have one key. Okay, thank you. All right, let's send you the rest. One key in. Okay, there you go. Have another key. Ooh, that comes in hot. <laughs> okay, second key. All right, sending you the hammer key. This little tiny cutie pie hammer key. It's so nice. Aw. And. Well, these keys are so cute. Yes, and I, weirdly enough, every key has been a symbol of the thing, except for some reason this key. This key is just straight up, look at this. Just a fist. Every other key has represented the family except that one, which is strange. Okay, all the hands are moving. And there's the final lock. Okay, so let me look at the at the clues again. Okay. Chose the bird he loves as his son's name. I think that's the only one that we have. And who done. is that supposed to be? We don't know. That's who we have to figure out. Chose the bird he loves, and that doesn't connect. What does that connect to? We don't know. It's 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 one of them. It's one of the, it's one of them boys out there. Chose the birdie loves. There's there's like I said, there's two different. But it isn't. Oh my it God. isn't. Here's the thing. 
Yeah. It isn't the bird. Because the bird is the son, not the person. We're looking for the person. We're looking for the dad. You're saying with right? the, the stuff that you're seeing, like how you see a robin that's just a robin. Yeah, it's not that. This is a this is a person. This is a son of someone. But we're looking well, for his dad. Right. We're looking for the dad of a person who would name someone that. Yeah, which is why I'm getting frustrated because there's a bunch of different well, robins. So we have options. We have um, Falco. And Falco is a dude named Falco, right? That's a bird. In what area? Robin works as in, well. No, where's Falco? Uh, let's oh. do this one at a time. Which area is Falco in? Falco is in the uh, the the not paint, the like lava men, the bronze workers, whatever they're called. Falco is in the bronze worker group. Born twelve thirty two, oh, died thirteen ten. Uh, that would work. It would be and the Falco, oldest. It would be the oldest Eesbrandt. So Eesbrandt would then be the father of Falco. Yes, is the father and, of Falco. And Eesbrandt was a guy we were talking about earlier. So maybe. Maybe. Is that does that read as? Basically, I mean, if I get this wrong, a ghost haunts me and maybe kills me. So. I I know. But I'm there's, already haunted. There are so <laughs> many moment. Robins. It would make sense if it wasn't Robin because they, they right, seem like Falco. A, yeah. So let's go for Falco. All right. Here we go. Use brain it is. Yep. That's it. Nice. Oh, big brain. This is it. This is the key. You know what? Oh my god, Dodger. What? 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 Sorry, I was just I was just doing my victory lap and I went to go look at chat because I wanted to see like, yeah, we're so smart. They nailed it. And I want to let you know this is how dumb I am. You said he names his favorite son after or he names his son after his favorite bird, right? Yeah. And Falco is here, but Falco has a robin above it. And I was like, oh that's weird. But it was never about Falco. Because above Yeezbrandt is literally a falcon. <laughs> I give up. I give up. I'm so unobservant. No, I'm no, so, no, no. Chat's like, there's Look. a falcon above it, you big idiot. Like, great. Cool. Glad I... <laughs> Chat, fuck off. Look, we're, we're streaming it. We're talking through uh, it. You so know, dumb. we're not going to see everything. <laughs> it's like when when you play the super Americanized version of Mahjong and you're like, God, there are just no pairs. And every person who comes by is like, I see like eight pairs. Are you blind? Like, this is a tale as old as time. Okay. We can't see everything. All right. Uh, but we did it. We did it. We did it. That's so because funny. we're big oh, brain, man. beautiful people. We didn't say he was an idiot. He threw us under the bus. Yeah, well, you know what? Maybe I want to dodge to yell at you a little bit. <laughs> I can't believe this. Are you misrepresenting your chat? Maybe I did. Maybe I didn't. They'll never know. Okay. I'm in a new room. Oh, um, interesting. Okay. I can't get to you through the underground area, so I am... I don't know what I'm doing. All right. Talk okay, to I'm you. turning something. Oh, oh, oh. No, 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 no. Well, okay. There's a thing that I can push, and if I let go of it for even an instant, um, I cannot keep pushing it anymore. <laughs> let me light all of these. So it's not dork in here. Oh, it's dork in there, all right. Okay, um, there's a map in here, but there's also a thing to push. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna try to keep pushing it. Alright. It, it seems that the way I get to you is potentially through this gate, but, um, I, I need a cog or something. Through, so. Um, I think I'm opening a thing by pushing this, and then you're timed to, like, get it, get through, you're maybe? opening a thing. Um, or, I don't know. Hold on. Oop. Open the thing. Whoa. 
what are you opening? I don't know. trapped in here. Okay. What is the... That's a door. This is a... map. Do you have any cogs or anything you can give me that will... that I can use to all open I, this gate? All I have is a thing. I don't have anything I can give you. All I have is there's a thing in here that I can turn and when I turn it, once I... It only turns a little bit, and once I get to the end, it it makes me hold on while slowly, like, unturning it. Does that make sense? So that's sure. why I'm like, this feels like a mechanic where something is opening, but I'm not sure what it is. Um, so I'm going to just keep trying to push it in different ways and see if I can figure out what its deal is, I guess. So you're opening a thing. I mean, I think I am. What does the map in your room do? It doesn't do anything. It's it's a map of the entire graveyard with a tiny X on it. Okay, okay. So maybe I'm using, oh, all right. So this checks out. So I was just upstairs running around in the graveyard with my pickaxe mm. uh, because I noticed there was like a pile of snow and I was like, oh, that snow, maybe I can like hit it, but it wouldn't let me. So maybe there's the right pile of snow and I can hit that. Oh, maybe. Oh God, okay. So, um, do you see a gigantic tree in the middle of the graveyard? I do. Okay, so there should be a bunch of graves opposite that tree. When you say opposite, do you mean like, so like north or south? So like, uh, as far away from, if, if I'm looking at it, it's east. Um, like looking at the map, but uh, as far away from the tree as you can get. So there's there's a door with a bird on it. Do you see that? A door with a bird. A door with a with a big like owl maybe above the gate. Uh, I can give it the old once over and try to see. An owl above the gate. On the out on the outside. Yeah, it looks like there should be something like that. Ooh, I don't see an owl above a gate. Um, so from what I can tell, there's like a there's like a big circle in the middle and a tree off to the side of the circle. Yes, which which way is that tree? So as I'm looking at it, there's the circle, and then the tree is, like, on the west side of the circle. Gotcha. Understood. Okay. So, if so you're, if you're, like... I'm looking north now. Okay. Okay. You're looking north, like... Okay. Where so, the tree is to the, is to the left of me. Great. So, if you stand with the tree at your back looking east... Okay. Do you see, like, three levels in front of you? I do, and I see the owl gate. I'm looking at it. The owl gate was facing away from me. Okay, so so not toward the owl gate, but to the right of the owl gate. There should be some stuff. Another gate? Like oh, maybe a gate? Some stuff? Yeah, maybe a gate with some tombstones. Okay, I'm in that tombstone area. Okay, so go all the way to the back. Okay. Complete left corner of that area. All the way to the back. Complete left corner. Mm -hmm. Hey! Oh. Lovely. Well, this is... <gasps> a door opened for me! Oh, oh no. what a delight. What does this mean? What does oh, this mean? Oh, there's a skeleton in here. Oh, no. Poor boy. All right. Well, I have a peach piece of parchment front of me that was in the treasure chest mm -hmm. and on it it has a skeleton with the number 23 underneath it okay and 
It has the following coding. I don't know how to, all right. Are you saying a bunch of crazy symbols? Cause I am. Yes, except I don't know how crazy. So basically one equals one parenthesis. Like not parentheses, but like one parenthesis. Three, equal, or you could say a sideways frown, right? Three is okay. three sideways frowns. Five is five sideways frowns or open parentheses. A 10 is a circle and a 40 is four circles. That's that's the information I have. Oh, interesting. Um, can you send me back the pickaxe? I think I can, yeah. I think I might need it. Let's do this. They got me running around that cold. Ay, 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 ay. It makes sense why there's snow in this bucket now, because it's easier to send stuff down. Checks out, okay. checks out. Thank you. Okay. So, um, I see a bunch of, of symbols, um, mm -hmm. and they seem to be symbols made up of circles and parentheses. So, I'm going okay. to assume that the number of parentheses you are seeing is the number of parentheses I should look for in the symbol. I assume. Um... Again, um, it says 23, and then there are, so maybe, oh, maybe what I'm supposed to tell you is circle, circle, three, uh, uh, open parentheses, right? So one, two, 20, two circles, three parentheses. Does that make sense? Okay, so that's uh, that's what I should look for first, is two circle, two circles, three parentheses, do you think? Yes, two circle, three parentheses equals 23. Okay, let me see if I can find it. I think that's what that means. If the objective is for you to press buttons or whatever, find the, the symbols. Try. Fingers crossed. Oh, pick up. Okay, let's see. Nice. Nice. Uh, okay, it's a new map. You ready? Yeah. Oh, I need the pickaxe. Oh, okay. Let me send this back down to you. Oh my god, they really gonna be giving us cardio, dude. No, 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 wait. Uh, I was going to give you pickaxe. Don't worry, I drop rapidly. Okay, go. Take it. Okay, I take pickaxe. Pickaxe taken. All right, talk to me about this map. Okay. So, uh, go back outside. Go back to All the right. tree. I'm at, I'm at the tree. Okay. Um... So, with the tree at your back again, mm -hmm. um, look to the right. So, look south. Okay. Uh, directly south, is there a big gate? Yes. So, you aren't going to go through that gate. Is um, this pile of snow right next to it? Yeah, of course it is. Ah, I got the gear. Hey, okay, and great. another... Oh, wait, hold on. 52 is the next one. Okay, so five circles, two parentheses. Okay, mm -hmm. send me the pickaxe, my dude. Sending. Also, I have a gear now, and I think I can put this gear in the slot. Okay, five, so. five circles, five circles, two parentheses, is that it? Yes, that's, that's the, I mean, I'm looking at it right now, it's the same code. So it would be five circles. Yeah. Yo, come on now. Hmm. 
Oh, is that not big enough? No, no, that's big enough. Oh, okay, I've got a gear. Do you have somewhere to uh -oh. put a gear? Um. Uh -oh, Do I have somewhere to put a gear? Wait a minute. That's not good. Maybe I need you to open. Can you go back and press that button? What button? Remember you said there was a button you could press? Uh Oh, the lever to push? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah I can push it. God, I hope that opens this shit up. I'm pushing. That's not good. Do you have, can you put the gear next to where the lever is? No, I just tried to put the, the gear down on this. It doesn't seem to go with it. Well, so I put a gear, I put my gear where there was an empty spot for a gear to be, but it literally locked me in a room. So I can't do anything now. I'm trapped okay. in a room and I assume you have the ability to open stuff. Maybe if you come back to um, the gate. Remember how there was that gate where we both came out of? Or like it, down down below? Like way back at the beginning of your underground adventure? Right there. Hi, yeah. buddy. Is there a place to put the gear here? Like around this area oh, to help I open see. this up? Oh, it's trying to open. Oh, I see. Yeah, I'm currently trapped as hell in here. Yep. Nice. There we go. Hey, bud. We did it. Look at us, champions. I know. You. Hey. You. Hi. You. Hey. You. Poke poke. My hand is terrifying. Yeah, I, I've got a you're demonic super, parchment. You're super cursed. Okay, no. so come with me. We have to do this okay, together. Coming. That makes way more sense. Look at the thing you saw. Uh, oh my goodness. Yeah, so this is what I was trying to describe to you. Holy shit. Yeah, no, I get it. I get it now. This looks incredibly convoluted. Okay. What the shit was... That? Oh, no, we're locked in. Okay. So, get on the other side of that. Yeah. Pushing. only cost the possession of one ghost. You know? Yeah, that was just one ghost possession. That's fine. Honestly. Oh. oh there's the got... other lens. Okay. Oh. Hell yes. And this Hell just yes. opened? Okay. I think this takes us... Uh-oh. I'm gonna do this, because this is dark as hell. Oh. oh. No. Oh. Just kidding. Ha ha ha. It's gonna take us out the doorway that we saw before. Maybe? There was a doorway up there, and I think it's gonna let us back outside. That would be pretty sick. That would be super sick. That would be pretty tight. Sick nasty. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think this is what this is. Yo! Look at us! And the crows vanished. Oh my goodness. Yeah, the crows, you big stupid idiots. Who would have thought? Look at us. The snow's letting up. The moon is full. Perfect time for vampires. Wait, werewolves. What? The perfect time Vampiric for jesters. Jesters. Yeah, then you put that sucker on here. Hell yeah. And then we go up and we put it in and the then thing. We say, up, Hell please. Oh yeah. Yeah. That was considerably easier than the uh I thought so insanity. Too. Yeah. That that the underwater one was a lot. Like that yeah. one was was shorter thing thankfully my goodness hmm. was just finding out what the hell they were talking about yeah yeah no, we did it no, we did uh, it um uh -oh. qua hey what the fuck look at this asshole <laughs> don't do this shit why have you failed in bringing me those desecrators these rats <laughs> they Cower in nooks, cracks, crannies, and corners. Pretty out in the open, not homie. My majesty. 
It's a jester, I chat. I like to do, old man. Stuck in your filthy key. Stuck, stuck, stuck. <laughs> but, like, again, just if your job is to find us, just wait until we get to the top, right? <laughs> I think he, like, I don't know what his vibe is. Maybe he likes us. You know what? Yeah, I don't know. He's been around for a while. Like, we've seen him in several games. Here's the thing. In, like, in, like the, the old story that we got... Right, he was like the ki the king trusted me more than anyone else, more than any of his friends, more than his wife. Right? Yeah. Um, yeah. I helped him like like achieve the power he has, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Oh, right, the thingy wall. I got it. Um. Uh, but maybe you know, like the, the way the king is talking to the jester, maybe the jester is kind of hoping that we deal with this situation. Yeah, maybe either A, the jester has like a long con planned, right? Where he's using us to get rid of the king. Or maybe the jester created that scene where it was like, the king listened to me most of all because that's what he really wants, but he doesn't have it. You know what I mean? Oh, wait, you're saying that before when we were like, oh, is this like a, is this a love story? Um, what you're saying is maybe the jester, like, wanted the king's affection, but the king well, I don't know about all that. I him. just think he, he oh, wants to be taken so seriously sad. as, like, a guy who, like, you no, know. No, absolutely not. He's like, no. I just want don't, the king to listen to me. And he, don't look at a, a jester character that is haunting us and be like, maybe he just wants to be taken seriously as a man. <laughs> But, uh, but I mean, like, in a evil, creepy jester way. Sure. Like, he either he has a long con where he wants us to get rid of the king, or he is trying to pretend like he's important to us when we see that he's actually just, like, a stooge to the, you know. So it's not as, so that backstory is, like, a lie because he wrote it. You know what I mean? Yeah. I don't know. I have no clue. I want to know who on a daily basis, or I guess weekly basis... They were like, all right, time to go to church. Everyone get aboard this rickety ass thing. Leave our little town, our little hamlet here and head on over to the church rides. I don't know, scary, yep. no, no thanks. Hi, Subbo. Let's go. Last, last but certainly not least. This shit, surely. This must be the last direction. This shit? This shit? More likely than you'd think. This shit? Surely. Surely. All right, this has to work now, Yep. Right? Yes. Fun Awaiting the other player. What is this doing? It's oh, it's go. bringing a... Uh, it's bringing us the one hell of those is that? Uh, really creepy old ski lifts. Terrifying. With a dead That's person, a person on it. That's a dead person. Uh, uh. You want to like? Pardon me. You can, you can sit there. What? So oh my god. Well, they don't need the seat. Yeah, it's fine. These people had like so, a ski uh, lodge up in here. So like, uh, uh, come here often. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say the same thing. Um, <laughs> oh, whoa, what? The what? What? Madam? What, what was the, fuck the was clouds that? like? What the hell was that? What the fuck happened there? Are we uh, gonna? We. This is just like the roller coaster thing. Place to see. This is terrifying. Why would they build this? Look, Almost whoever like built this king. didn't intend for people to keep using it, obviously. <laughs> Almost like an evil mad king built this. With this it's, weird, uh, yeah, it's wild. <laughs> Insane. 
It's almost like the king was such a piece of shit, his entire family tried to take him down. Yeah, crazy. His, because he literally did shit everyone. like this. <laughs> He's like, I'm going to spend our fortune on building a crazy contraption that takes you to, I don't even know where. Who's the... Rock the, mm, What's that manor house? Chat will know. What's the manor house that has, like, uh, yeah. stairways and, and walls and all kinds of shit built into it that make no sense because... Oh, I like know what you mean. With an old, rich widow lived there. What is that called? Winchester House. Winchester House. Yeah. I've never been there, but I've heard it's so weird to go into. I love that kind of stuff. I'm here for it. Um, are we good? Oh. You and the boys should I, go there. For I Tuluminati. would love to do that. The problem is, is that some boys, no names, are too scared. Not me. I'm ready to go. I will at any point in time go any to any haunted house. Zero worries. Do they think that the Winchester house is haunted? I didn't think that. I don't think so. I thought it was I just, just kind of they, like a uh, weird like mystery puzzle house where they're like, did this lady bury bodies in the walls? Sort of shit. Yeah. I would love to go. I bet it'd be super fun. People just be like, like I want to go to a haunted house and I want to go to a room and I just want to be like, if there's a ghost in here. Is it Mathis? How do you, no, Matt, like, everyone, look, all I'm saying is- If you is, say no, that means that there's only one option left. If you it's, truly I mean, are our brave boy. Yeah. If Alex Fasciani was brave and not a coward, <laughs> we could go. I think I'm ready. I'm ready to go. It's about Winchester setup. Winchester House People isn't scary, I don't think. I don't think it's meant to be scary. Just fucking weird, which is also on go. brand for Chaluminati. I just want to go, like, hang out in a haunted house and be like, Hey, ghost, you're here. It's me, your boy. Me, and then you can smooch. remake that gif, you know? Yeah. Like, give me a smooch. If you're a real ghost, you'll kiss me right now on the lips. <laughs> you'll kiss me on the lips and we'll have a moment. Man. Remember Geek Enders? Uh, not only do I remember it, the other day... Our beloved Alex Fasciani. Oh, I got a note. What's in there? Our beloved Alex was asking about it. People were asking about it the like, other day you, in my like, chat. Where can you watch that? And I was like, I don't know. That's that got sold to Verizon. Yeah, literally <laughs> no idea where nowhere. you can watch it. Yeah, it existed. I remember when we oh, were told my that child it was the awake. number one, the so. number one watch show on Verizon. Do you remember that? It's not as sweet as you think. It could be. We were told, we were told it's the number one watch show on Verizon, and uh, then. Okay, I need to, I need to put my kiddo back to bed. So. Okay. Uh, occu I'll occupado. tell them the great story. Okay, one sec. Here. It was the number one watch show on Verizon, and uh, what ended up happening is I asked, like, oh my god, how many people are watching it? That sounds amazing. They were like, as of right now, six people have seen it. <laughs> I was like. Cool. All right. Yeah. It was literally the only, it was like no one was using that service. No one. I was like, I'm pretty sure the six people that watched it were six people from our office. Yeah. It was uh, basically, that was during the early days of the internet. That was like, I don't know, 2000. Well, I guess not early days of the internet, but early days of monetized internet where apparently, um, like Verizon wanted to set up their own video service and we sold them our show and they were like, hell yeah, we'll pay you. And we were like, yeah, and we made money and we got to travel the country and that was amazing. And we had plans to do a geek enders worldwide. We were going to go like travel the world and do shit. But, um, yeah, that, uh, we sold to them and then I don't know. Verizon has it somewhere. It was great though. It was such a fun time to go hang out with, you know, dudes and travel the world. We had a we had a blast. We had a lovely time. I had a, I had a great time. Did I tell you during Geek Enders, during filming Geek Enders, I met with the Marvel like bigwigs and I had a conversation with them about how I was like, 
you know we're gonna need to see thanos we're gonna need to see an avengers where they fight thanos and it's just like infinity war and th and they were like that would be a crazy idea wouldn't it i'm like i'm just saying that's when this took place it took place before i think it took place before age of ultron is when we filmed that and i was like you know you gotta show it you gotta you gotta give us thanos and they were like that would be crazy and we ate tacos and had that conversation meanwhile all of dodger's bits involved food my bits involved me going to like i went to a pinball museum i went to hang out with the marvel guys i went to like do all these like weird shit things i went to a karaoke thing with a bunch of like cool dudes we couldn't use any of the footage because it's all copywritten but, like we had a great thing and then yeah geek enders is when i ran into a former student the episode where we were in Boston, where Dodger and I were in Boston, we decided to make the entire, like, Dodger's storyline for Boston was she was going around eating all the food she could find. My storyline for Boston was literally, uh, uh, like, National Treasure, where I was, like, going around the city discovering ancient, I was like, ooh, what is this? Basically, the end, it ended, like, the last hint was, like, something about a golden nipple, and it was the dome for the Capitol building. And so I ran to the Capitol building, and that's where I saw, um, I saw the uh, uh, my student. I saw one of my former students there. It was crazy. In um, one one episode, we went to Seattle, and the whole episode was framed around the time that I got really drunk. I was like, once I was in Seattle, I got really drunk, and uh, I ended up at this at this restaurant called uh, what was it called? Like Little Dickies, Little Sasquatches, whatever his name is, like Little Furballs, whatever the hell that restaurant was called. And uh, it was like a it was like a burger place, but they had the best chicken sandwich I ever had in my life. And I couldn't remember if I couldn't remember if the chicken sandwich was like I didn't like the the goof was that I went back there later and they did not have a chicken sandwich. So I was like, wait, did I even eat at that restaurant? Where was I? What was that about? The whole episode, the whole episode is Dodger in Seattle, like doing all these silly things. While me, I'm trying to find I'm trying to find whatever the fuck this thing is. And the best part is. Uh, we hired, so we found the restaurant, and the restaurant, I guess, has a mascot, which is a little Sasquatch in overalls. So we hired someone to dress up as the little Sasquatch in overalls, and in the background of every scene where we were filming all day, we had a little Sasquatch in overalls walking around in the background, and so we were all just like, you know, the whole goof was like, do you see him? It's the guy! And, and Dodger's like, I don't know what you're talking about. There's nothing there. I'm like, he's right there! And they'll be like, so basically at the end of the episode, we finally make it to the restaurant, and Dodger and I are eating a chicken sandwich. They, here's the thing. The chicken sandwich, I guess, was like something they, they only make every so often. So they made us a special chicken sandwich just for the last bit. And I was like, oh my god, thank god I... Oh, this is so good. We're seeing they're eating, and then the camera turns and pans, and the little Sasquatch is sitting at the table with us eating, and I give him like a thumbs up, and he gives me a thumbs up, and that's how the episode ends. And it was so good. It was so good. The whole series was incredible. Maybe the best thing we've ever done. Maybe the best show we've ever made. And they literally, like, I don't know where it's, I, I don't know how we could possibly find it. I don't know how, is it available anywhere? I have no clue. I have no, we, like I said, we sold it to Verizon, and while Dodger and I got, like, paid very well for it, uh, I don't think anyone ever watched it. I think the Verizon series, like, yeah, it's probably super gone. Basically, the way that we could find it is, one, contact Verizon's platform, which doesn't exist anymore, so I feel like that's impossible, or, two, we reach out to Maker Studios and makers yeah go 90 yeah go 90 was the thing go 90 was the website i don't know if it if we could find the information though oh man that was so funny what a great time that was yeah maker studio we could either go back to maker but no one we know works at maker anymore and maker isn't even a thing it was bought by disney Basically, it's just lost the time. It sucks. It was such a, it was such an amazing, it was like one of the most fun things I've ever been a part of. It was super fun. That's for sure. The 
defunct 2018? That seems about right. We filmed that shit when I was still with Maker. So that would have been at least 2014. At least 2014. Yeah, we had a lot of fun. There were a lot of really cool things that we did. I just think that, uh, you know, times changed. Yeah, that means we filmed it in 2014 and it came out in 2015. That checks out. That checks out. Yeah, we, we took a month and a half to film that thing. We traveled around the country. It's great. One of my favorite things. You know what? Can I just tell you, I keep thinking about that and how, like, what a trip time is. Like, in 2014... Wow, that's so weird. In, like, I hate thinking about this. In 2014, I... <laughs> I was dating a person in 2014 that I wasn't dating when the show came out in 2015. I dated another person in 2015 to 2017. We were together until the, like, and then, and then uh, I, wow. Then we broke up and then in 2017, Eight years ago. Yeah, that's crazy. It's so weird to think about, like, the way interactions with people affect you and your perception of time. Like, I keep thinking about to, like, yeah, well, I was dating this girl during this time period. Oh, my God, that was five years ago. And I was like, oh, but before that, I was dating this other... That might as well be a hundred years ago. That might as well be a thousand years ago. Like, it feels so long. Measuring time in X's, it really makes you think, like, oh, well, that was... All I'm saying is it makes you understand that, like, oh, well, that was nothing. You know what I mean? Like, you're like, oh. At the time, it felt like it was a huge deal. But, like, now you're like, that was five years ago. And, like, gone. Like, un like it doesn't matter. Crazy. Crazy. Yeah, that, the, the time we went to Yogg's Tower, Towers was 2012. 2012, that's when uh, I single-handedly set up Dodger and Sam. You're welcome. You're welcome, Internet. I made that happen. I made that happen. You're welcome. I, if anything, I'm the reason Clark exists. Yes, me specifically. I created a person. And you know how they, they you know how they thank me? By betraying me. I was gonna win that money. I was gonna win the money, and that Clark was born one day early. Betrayed me. We I had a whole plan worked out. They betrayed me. Story of my life. Yeah, I don't know. I, uh, very interesting to think about. Yeah, when I was, man, yeah, I, God, so long ago, wow. Yeah, I think it's much easier, time for me is much easier to measure by who I dated and when. <laughs> it's just much easier for me, because it all starts to blend together, but if I can say, like, oh, if I dated person X, then I know what the time period was. It's just easier. It's just simpler for me. I don't know why. Like, oh, I was dating this person then. Or more importantly, if I wasn't dating someone. So, for example, the last two years, I haven't dated anyone. Uh, mostly because of COVID shit. So I, I haven't dated as, as, as... Actually, that's a lie. I went on dates, but I haven't been in a relationship with someone. 
But I went on, I like went out and did stuff, but. Yeah. But nothing that stuck, unfortunately, for them. <laughs> Unfortunately for them, nothing that stuck. <sighs> so for you, when was BDL? I don't know. High school. I didn't really date in high school. Um, although, when I was a senior, I did make out with two girls at the same time, and that was pretty great. But we didn't, like, do it. But, you know, that happened. Um, but yeah, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't like, uh, I didn't like, I didn't like, uh, bang anyone or like, I didn't do any of that stuff. Um, I feel, it's so weird. I feel bad for Dodgers chat. They have to listen to this garbage. Meanwhile, I'm just talking to my chat like, <laughs> Dodgers chat's like, fuck this guy. This guy sucks ass. <laughs> I totally forgot that I'm, I am connected to Dodgers chat. Totally forgot. My bad. Hi, Dodgers chat. Hello. <laughs> um, yeah. No, I, uh, in high school, I didn't date anyone. Like I said, senior year, senior year, uh, I will say, I will say, one of my biggest regrets is when I went off to college, um, I, the first time I dated someone was in college. It was a girl named Beth. Shout out to Beth. It was my... Actually, that's a lie. Between high school and college, during that summer when I worked at a movie theater, um, I dated a girl for like, I don't know, a few weeks. It was my first real relationship, and it was awkward. It was strange. Uh, but then in college, I met this girl, Beth, and she was lovely. Uh, but like, again, really awkward, very strange relationship. Uh, not, I would say not a good one at all. We like definitely were bad at it. Uh, and to seal our lovely relationship, we ended up doing it in the backseat of a car at a blockbuster video. So that just goes to show you how long ago that was. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> blockbuster video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that was, if you ever want to know, Jesse, what was your first time? In the back seat of a car, in the parking lot of a Blockbuster video at like 12.31 a.m. There you go. Now you know. Now you know. Let me tell you. Was it worth it? Not really. Not really. <laughs> would I Would I love a do-over on that? You, you, yeah. Yeah, I would. Yeah, I would. Uh, it was not It was not my, my greatest moment. It was, uh, it was really weird. <laughs> it was really weird. <laughs> Yeah, uh, and we, basically, we, we, like, we had a relationship where we barely saw each other and talked to each other, and then I just, like, stopped calling her, because she, like, never answered her phone, and I was like, whatever, and then we, like, I guess that's how we broke up, we, like, never, we, like, got together a few times, and that was it, and it was, like, a really, it was not a healthy relationship, and then in college, I met a girl that I dated for uh three years no two years junior and sophomore year no yeah sophomore junior year and then uh that's the girl who was like i i she like had a cd player out of nowhere and i was like what the hell is this and she's like it's nothing it's nothing i was like something's up and that's the girl who i discovered was dating four guys at the same time and i confronted her on it and was like i can't be with you and she's like why not you're the newest guy. You're the one I'm cheating on. Like, I'm cheating with you on all of them. And I was like, what? <laughs> She's like, I don't understand why you're upset about that. You're the one I want to be with. I'm like, so why are you with the other ones? She's like, it's just convenient. I'm like, what? So to say that skewed my perception of relationships probably did a lot. Um, I know. It's crazy. Uh, yeah. And so... I remember that because at the time I was working at a place called Mighty Taco. And Mighty Taco, I remember she worked there as well. And uh, she was on the clock when she was, she was texting me on our old ass phones, our like flip razor phones. She was texting me all this stuff. And so I went to the Mighty Taco and was like, I quit, F this, 
F you. And I was like, I'm done. And I took my shirt, which was my Itaka shirt, and tossed it in the back, and it landed in the beans. And I walked out. <laughs> landed right in the beans. <laughs> I didn't mean to ruin the beans. I didn't want to ruin the beans, but I ruined the beans. Right in the beans. And uh, yeah, and so then that happened. And then I didn't, I didn't date anyone for the rest of high school. The rest of my high school career was me, or not high school, I'm sorry, college. My, the rest of junior and senior year, I didn't date anyone. I uh, think I was still recovering from being utterly destroyed. But, oh, I forgot to mention my, so, I have, and let's be very clear, I have what is known in the world as the inability to tell if someone's into me. Can't, can't do it. I cannot, I cannot distinguish signals. Can't, I can't figure it out. I cannot make it happen. So one of the things that, that happens frequently is I will find out much later that someone was into me and it's way too late. You know what I mean? So when I was, uh, when I was in high school, you know, I was, I was like very good friends with, with some of the most popular kids in school, which was a blessing and a curse because I am not that guy. I had two groups of friends. I had like the really popular kids and then I had like the super nerds that I go hang out with and we play games. So like I'd be invited to parties, but as like the funny guy who would then like make jokes and they'd be like, the funny guy's here. Um, and really what I wanted to do was like go hang out with my nerdy friends and like play, you know, Nintendo 64 and shit. Anyway. Um, when I, uh, I discovered that when I went my first, I don't know, first week of college, I got a message from this girl that I knew from high school, who I think was in 11th grade at the time, maybe. And she said that she found out that a girl that I had a enormous crush on the biggest crush in the world, who was also my dad's boss's daughter found out that she uh, was into me and just never said anything. And I had no clue. I had no clue. Can you imagine? Can you imagine? Man, that would have been, I could have, I could have got one in for the family. we like, this one's for the family. It would have been amazing. Um, then here's another crazy thing is, uh, so that of course didn't happen. Cause I literally moved across the country. Um, then when I was in college, one of my very, very good friends, um, she was like, uh, just like a sweetheart. I love her to this day. But I found out much later, um, when she got married, by the way, um, cause at the time I was dating, when we first met, I was dating someone and she was dating someone, right? Like we, we, when we met each other, we were both dating people. And then, uh, I broke up with, with, my girlfriend she broke up with her boyfriend and for like you know two years we were just good friends and we hung out all the time and then uh i went off to go like become a teacher and she went off to like go live her life and i guess i found out she was getting married and she literally hit me with a like i'm so surprised you never asked me out because i was like waiting for you to and you just never did and i was like <laughs> it's like i thought we were friends I thought we were like friends and like if I did it something it would ruin the friendship and she was like nah I was just waiting and I was like you could have said something you could have done something she's like I don't know it seemed weird I was like happens it happens to me all the time I need you to know this it happens to me I never make I rarely make a first move just because I'm like uh, I don't know that seems like a lot of hard work <laughs> I, and now it's even worse. Now I definitely don't. Just because the way things are, like, I'm terrified if I'm like, yo, girl, what's going on? The next thing that's going to happen is like, dear Reddit, Jesse Cox said, yo, girl, what's going on? What a fucking pervert. And that's it. And then I'm done. So I don't say shit anymore. There is like a literal process. If I meet a person, it takes time. I'm like, all right, is this person going to be crazy? Is this person gonna like be? Yeah. Oh yeah. No. So I'm not getting canceled. The worst thing is, is I don't want to. Here's the thing. I don't want that shit out there. Not because it's bad, but because I don't want people to be like, this guy has no game. 
I don't want people to know how bad, how like terrible my pickup game is. It's not good. It's not good. And I'd rather just people be like, I'd rather die alone than have the internet know what my opening lines are. <laughs> I'd rather just die alone. Yeah. <laughs> I should just pick up, pick all my lines up from Star Wars. Are you an angel? Yeah, no, I'm terrible at it. Here's the thing, though. Once that opening salvo is done, like once the whole like, hey, pay attention to me shit is over with, I'm a text master. I'm very good at it. I am much better at texting great like lines than I am at talking. That's for sure. You can ask anyone I've dated. My text game is like A++. I go, I'll come in there like, it's like, who is this romantic gentleman? I'm like, that's me. Meanwhile, I'm like, <laughs> they're going to read this and think I'm a romantic type. But really, I just want to show them my magnum dong. Yeah. Really, I, uh, yeah. If anything, I just, I helped Dodger. But yeah, um, I played better in the second quarter. That's absolutely right. I played better in the second quarter. That's very funny. <laughs> yeah. And so, um. That's a thing. I did. I uh, yeah. I didn't. We. I didn't. Oh my god! How long have I been years. gone? <laughs> so long. <laughs> oh, so long. How long? Um, I don't know. Thirty minutes. Thirty minutes. Something like that. Yeah. For real. It's five forty p.m. now. Holy shit! And did you fall asleep with your kid? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I've just been trying to keep chat entertained. Both I am, chats entertained. Fuck, I am so sorry. Holy <laughs> sh We went through every Jesse story. No! Oh my god. No, I remember. She literally. Oh, dude, fuck. I'm so sorry. I was having fun. We were having Jesse story time. It was great. <laughs> um, Holy shit, that's funny. She, like, she was wide awake and I was thinking to myself man this would be a lot easier if she was in that sort of mode where she just kind of passes out the second she's back in bed and I was like it's okay it'll be fine as long as I don't fall asleep and then the next thing that I know is Sam walking into Clark's bedroom being like hey are you streaming with Jesse and I was like oh oh no <laughs> yeah yeah that sounds right are you is it bedtime for you is that what you're saying holy shit no we have no i'm not leaving you here for that long and then being and then it's saying fun. bye I was no a, i was having a good time it's i know that you said you have between four and five and it's already four a uh, five forty i know that's all i'm saying you said you could you had to leave between four and five and it's 40 minutes after five i know let's do this puzzle at least let me uh, let me you you say that like this puzzle is gonna be easy. Let me try. All I was oh what the shit. So we got like a broken thing here. Ooh that area looks cool as hell. Um yeah I was just telling them about the that time that I I basically set you and Sam up. Sure. And then, uh, yeah, and then I was telling him about how, um, I cannot read signals whatsoever from women. I, I'm terrible at it. And how throughout my life, there have been numerous times where someone years later has been like, I was always into you. And like, you didn't do anything. And I was like, what? And it happens with a frequency that is upsetting to me. <laughs> so it'd be just easier if someone would just approach me instead. Thanks. Cause it's just too you, much. Yeah, you you, you want you want somebody to literally be like, hey, let's date. Uh, yeah, like, and if that could be the relationship the entire time, like, hey, go do this thing, I'd be like, all right. Like, if I could just have some sort of dummy mommy come in here and just set me up, I'd be real happy. Thanks. Sure. Where are you? Yeah. Are you up? I'm running around. There's a thing over here. The thing that, up. That um. The up thing. 
Yeah, there's like a thing that we can all push, yes. Yes. Oh, and chat together. learned that my first time was in the parking lot of a Blockbuster video. Oh. <laughs> I can't. It says hold, but it's not doing anything. Yeah, it's not doing anything for me either. Um, you know what? No comment, bud. There's no, I mean, what comment would you make? I don't know. There's, There's no, no comment to make. That's why I'm just, you know. Yeah, it was, an, it was at 12.30 a.m. in a Blockbuster video. <laughs> what are you going to do about that? Nothing. So there is an upstairs part to this. Mm. And I wonder if there are a bunch of mirrors that we need to get to. I think, yeah. So basically, oh, here's a mirror. Interesting. Okay. So what I'm thinking is, you see how this light comes down here, and it's only so often? Yeah. So, like, we need to put mirrors in specific places so that it goes where we need it to go, so that it goes through oh, this telescope, right? Absolutely. But the idea is, is that we're trying to make sure that this light stays on the entire time, I would imagine. And if this light see how it stays on for only a certain amount of time yeah imagine if the light comes down hits one mirror bounces 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 so by the time the light comes down again it's one like beam you know what i mean like it is one powered beam so it stays constant hmm. mm. so maybe i gotta get in Oh, what the shit? So how do we do this? Someone want to tell Jesse how fast light is? Yeah, 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 but like... No, I magic, don't, y'all. Chat. Magic. Is that how light works? You're damn right it's how light works. You're welcome. When I'm proven right and you're oh, all proven wrong. Oh, this opens when the light is on it. Yeah, all the mirrors are in here, but it doesn't open fast enough. Plus, all the mirrors in here appear to be cracked. Mm. Okay. Like, we need to keep the light on as long as possible in order to get those mirrors. Maybe we need to Maybe we need to time out when we hold this thing up, up at the top. Is that accurate? I don't know. I, I got nothing. There are four lights! Somewhere, Captain Jean-Luc Picard is still amazing. And not whatever the hell two seasons of that show Picard were. Oh, I only not watched good, the first dudes. episode of the first season. Oh, it's not good. <coughs> What the hell? I'm confident it guards what I seek. The giant outdoor, but how does it work? Well, that's not helpful. Oh, the owl door. That's back where we were. Four hours of puzzles hasn't melted your brain? I mean, my mind is definitely melted. But I'm I just also took a nap, chat. Zone. I'm good. How dare you. <laughs> I'm sorry. I have, to, I have to laugh about it so I don't uh, keep saying sorry. We can't move this one? See, there's an above area where you. Th I feel like you can move stuff, but I don't know how we get up there. Yar. There's stairs. There's an owl. There's literally an owl on that. Do we have to go through the owl gate? Do you have the pickaxe? No. I don't have anything Son anymore. Because I, I tried to take the pickaxe to that door, yeah.
Did you enjoy, no spoilies obviously, but did you enjoy uh, Star Trek Discovery? Um, there, Star Trek Discovery had like, I, I Star Trek Discovery for me is like Doctor Who. There were every season one or two episodes that I thought were fantastic and everything else I thought was pretty shit. Hmm. And that's how I feel about Doctor Who. Doctor Who is like, wow, that what a great episode that was. Sometimes by, great, yeah. Yeah, that's that's how I feel. Um, so I totally understand that. Sorry, Doctor Who fans. I, yeah, I completely understand that vibe. Um, yeah, it's like there were some things I love, but some things it was like mm, I don't know. What were you going the to say? The only thing that we can do is that thing up top. So I don't know. What's yeah, going I just on don't there. know how to do it. Um. Oh, I really loved the first season of Star Trek Discovery. Um, I really, really liked it. Uh, I think because it was just like completely different than what I expected it to be, you know? I guess. I, I thought the first season kind of was not great, but the second season I thought had a lot going for it. I loved the like angel plot line. I thought that was super interesting. I think the resolution was really dumb. Like, one of the biggest cop-out endings to a mystery I've ever seen. But, fascinating. Same thing with season three. Season three had this incredible mystery. I haven't mystery. seen season three. Like, season three has this incredible mystery, and it's, like, super interesting. And the cop-out ending sucks so bad, you're like, what a waste of a season. Right. And then season four kind of just is interesting. Season four is super interesting. It has, like, a great plot device, a hook. But again, it's one of those things where it's like, they never can really nail the payoff. And mm. so it was kind of like, whatever. Um, Picard season two, I think is the biggest cop out in the history of TV. I've never been more upset uh, that the literal, like the conceit of it being Picard and Q and it not being that at all is so upsetting. So mm. upsetting. Um, however, with all that said, Star Trek, Strange New Worlds. So far, every episode has been amazing. A banger. Amazing. Yeah, it's so good. Nice. I haven't seen it yet. Oh, it's it's clearly the best. Like, it is, it is so good. It makes up for everything that has happened in the world of Star Trek. It is really a fantastic show. Like, I cannot stress it enough. I love it. Why can't we get in there? I'm s oh, here we do go. You have to hold this open? How do we do this? That's not helpful. Why? What? I honestly do not know what Pardon. to do. Pardon. There's a big, there's a big ass owl in there. I tried backtracking. Uh, that that gate or the um, bridge that we went across came back up, so we can't leave here. Sure. Which is understandable. I honest to God don't. thinking like maybe maybe we can like keep this from closing somehow do we like break a thing can, yeah break something why like i can't figure out the, the only clickable thing is this i know do we have to both be in it like will you get in this thing maybe it's an elevator looks like it's a shaft yeah wait were you not in it at the same time as me ever yeah, I'm holding. Oh my, oh my god. What the right. fuck? Wait. Uh, wait, how Are you in? I... Yeah, I'm hit. Okay, there, there we, we go. go. What? Wait, why didn't that work before? We've been up here at the same time clicking these. I have no clue. So many no times. Clue. Oof. Uh, Baker in chat said, Strange New Worlds. 
is good, but it feels like it skews younger. Here's what I'll say about it. Uh, one of the guys that I talk with at YouTube, um, I think you probably know him, Dooger. What did I just call you, Dooger? That's right. That's oh, my new we name. separated. That's me. Um, he and I have been talking about Star Trek and Star Wars for years, right? And he has never seen Star Trek ever, but he loves Star Wars. Okay. And so I was saying to him, like, you know, there really is no great place to start with with uh, Star Trek. You could do like Next Generation or whatever. And he's like, well, people keep telling me to look at Deep Space Nine, so I'm gonna go do Deep Space Nine. And he started watching it, and he was like, eh, I don't know, I'm not really feeling it. The first season seems slow. And I was like, you are correct. It was not a good first season. The show um, picks up. And he's like, all right. So there's, it looks like there's a bridge below me that maybe gets lifted. If there's like a I have a lever to pull. Yep, yep, thank you. Okay, keep going. Uh, and, and anyway, I mentioned to him, I was like, well, you know what? It's not great, but I'm really enjoying Star Trek Discovery, or not Discovery, uh, Strange New Worlds. And it just started. So maybe that's the place to go. And he, I talked to him yesterday and he literally was like, I started watching uh, Strange New Worlds. I'm four episodes in, love it. It's the first time Star Trek really connected to me. And so I'm just saying, maybe it skews younger when it comes to like the way they talk. But like he was in, he bought in and it was his first Star Trek show. So that's all I'm saying. Potentially that could be the reasoning why. Yeah. Uh, okay, hmm. so um, remember how we were in that weird area before where there was like the two people living apart from each other? Yes. In this room is, I'm looking at a weird room with a cradle and then a doll figure. And it okay. is weird as hell. Um, I've got nothing on my side, it looks like, unless I'm missing something. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Okay. Oh. Hey, bud. There is a rope chair thing. Hello. <coughs> I can pull a lever for you. Let me go up. Oh, nope. Where the hell am I at? Oh, no. I think you're above me. Oh, I am very above you. Okay. What the... What the happy hell? There is a boat here. Okay. There is a boat, and that boat can come down here, I guess. What the hell? Can I lower it? Um. Side note: I think no, I the whole time it. that I was gone, my cat might have been standing on my keyboard. <laughs> I just looked at Discord, I mean and there were a lot of weird symbols written on there. So it was either my cat or it was a ghost. I mean, you know what? Ghosts love a few good weird symbols. They do. Hmm. Yes. I literally don't know what I'm supposed to do. I don't see So anything. I don't know. There is a place above me that I think might be for you. Can you okay. get up to the very, very top? I can't go anywhere else from, like... Really? I'm really confused about where I'm meant to be. Mm, you can't... So I have a bridge here. That I oh, made. shit. I wonder if... Maybe I'm meant to get on this bridge and then you drop me down where the bridge was. Hmm. Can on. you come across? Like, do you have anything back here that you can go up? Because over here, way over here, I see a bunch of stairs and shit that I simply cannot get to. So I come across the bridge. I turn left. There's like a weird little area here. Underneath the oh, deck. Oh, Dukes, is there a place above? Or, or, I'm sorry, can you, is there like a thing where you can get up? Oh my lord, how do I get there? I see a thing where I can lower uh, a, something that I'm sure you could get onto. Okay. But I don't know. Basically, on my side, the only thing I see is a uh, a, a boat held by ropes. And the boat held by ropes, I can move it up. Okay. 
above me. Okay, interesting. And you can't get into it. I can't get into. I can't get up there to get into it. Okay. Um. So, unless I'm blind, um, I don't have anywhere the I can go. All right. Well, the only other thing I have is way back over here is a lever that I can flip. Okay, try. But it. it locks me in if I do it. Okay. This could be one of those puzzles where I need to flip it. Like, does that do anything for you? Uh oh, oh right, yes, it. it does. It does. It does. Uh, flip it again. Okay. And then flip it. Amazing. Okay. I am up now. Hello. I'm next to you. Oh, fanciful. All right. Follow me. I okay. know what to do now. I thought for sure that was just a me thing, but nothing's ever just a you thing in this. All right. Jump in the boat. Okay. I thank you for a ride. I'm in a boat. I'm on a boat, and. I be da be da be ba zi za di da bam. Yep. All right, so now you're up. Now I am up. And I guess. Boy, I don't know what I guess. There's like a platform over here. Maybe you can move this platform to me. Can you sit um, in that chair? What chair? If you come over here. Is there a. Oh, never mind. Yeah, can go down. Go can you go this? in that chair right there? Yes. Yes. Can you move that over to me ish? So that's there. Oh, I'm moving Where else a is crane. It yeah. I'm hoping it comes right over right. here to me. Perfecto. You move it a little bit more over? Yep. Thank you. Okay, where do you All need right, to go? Take me for a ride. This way? The only other place, I think, yeah. They tell All you this when. to turn a light on is ridiculous. Okay. All right. I'm up here. And then I got a gate. So okay. what if I push button? Whoa, what Ooh. the sh Oh, I... hell yeah, okay. I think turn that again. One more time? Yep. Hell yeah, here we go. All right, crazy. Um. Okay, there's nothing there. Okay, uh, try moving me somewhere, I, I guess. I cannot move you right now. Okay, so maybe I have to be off of it? Yeah. All right, so that's that. What is okay, this? here we go, here we go. Yep, 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 yep. And then I go this way, up, up, up. What does this do? What does what do now? I'm turning a lever that's like lifting something up and down, I think. I think, is there an elevator like directly under where I am? There is something there for sure. Okay, hold on. What? I'm not quite sure. What's over here? Oh, awaiting other player. Okay. Yeah, so I have to get I you need to, to me. Get, there's a door. Yeah, there's a door here yep. that needs to be opened. Yeah. Yes. Okay, so these are the two places where we need to stand once you're able to get up here. So how do you get here is the question. Can you switch stuff around? Um, I don't see anything that lets me switch stuff. I just have the lever to like lift. I think the, I think it's an elevator to lift this elevator for you to go on. So can I you, need to can get. Can you go around to the right and then down and then down the? 
Uh, this way takes me to a room, uh, to a block where there's nothing on it. No, 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 on the other side. So go back up. I can't. There's no and other then, way to go. And then turn right. You can't keep going that direction. This the way? There's no, nothing. no, the other way. There's a gate. Oh. So you, you can't you can't even get to where no. okay no the best I can do is is this kind of stuff in theory I could jump this but that's not how this game works hmm so you might need to come back down yeah I think I need to come back you need to get to a bottom button of some sort. All right, where are you at right now? Um, I'm below you. Is there a button or anything down there? Nope. All right. That's not helpful to you. All right, that's your out, yes? Yeah. So... Is there a button the over there on the other side? Um... No. Okay. Come on. Uh, I'm going to do this again. Uh oh Will you uh, go back the other way? Yep. Okay. It looks like there's a button down there, maybe? What is that? Yes. Okay. Does that button open the me. gate for you? It does. All right. So I'm going to do this. I'm about to do this. Okay, hit that gate. Okay, and this takes me down here. <coughs> and over to you. Okay. Bada bing, bada boom, look at us. So now you have to go in there. And then okay. I have to get back up. Uh -oh. That's not good. Oh, but that gate doesn't stay open. Okay, so maybe the idea is I have to come over here to you. You go down there. You go back to where you were. Uh, okay. And I can use this to, to help you get around. Okay. And one more. Does oh, this help? Oh, wait, nope. Go backward one. Uh, uh, give me a sec. I have to go around. Completely. Oh, okay. Okay, and then turn it. And one more. And then I go down. And then turn it. And one more. Okay, okay. there. And then you need to just turn now it one I last time, right? Do my thing, yes. Okay. Let me know when you are in the elevator. In the elevator. Up, up, and away. In my beautiful. Oh, oh Oops. shit. Oh, oh shit. Oh, oh, God. Up, up, and away. Hello, hi. Okay. So, Good adventure. you go straight and I'll go this way. And you're gonna see a, a rock dangling from um, I do. rope. Okay, interact. Awaiting other player. Yep. Yo! Woo! Oh, and so now it's constant, which is what we needed. Yeah, look at that. Okay. Fantastic. Fantastic. Where the hell am I going now? I'm going all the way back up. <gasps> oh, hell yeah. Zip line. Let's go, baby. Oh, I zip line to the top. 
Ah, oh, well, well, well. Look at us now. Wow. Well, Good well, news is well. I have access to mirrors. Broken. Whoa! These are not broken mirrors. They are, in fact, art. Oh, there's like. There's like a decor on them. Yes. Very interesting. So I imagine they line up in some fanciful way. That's for sure. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay. Oh, yes. Okay. Because I see the outline of an owl pattern. So we probably have to make an owl pattern with the light. Hmm. Understood. Okay. Let me, let's test stuff then, I guess. Oh, that's terrifying. Okay. So it looks like there are little black symbols in each of these that could potentially create an owl. Mm. So for example, like... Oh, that. okay. I'm going to say no to that one. Okay. At least where it was. Does this help if I move it elsewhere? Like here? Oh, oh this one is sideways. Oh, Lord. So that isn't showing up on the on, in the outline at all, wherever you have it. But I might, you know, I can also turn stuff, so. Does that work? I mean, it shows up. I don't know if all it needs is to show up. Well, there's the thing is that there's several. We're gonna need several of them. They're all gonna have to like. <gasps> this might. The, maybe this should be a next time puzzle. <laughs> I don't know that all my right. brain is is in the tip top shape necessary for whatever the the fuck it's this is right. gonna be. It's Your brain be. is always in tip top shape. I'm not saying that while yawning because it's not true. I'm saying that because I, it's it's super true. Thanks, bud. <laughs> Okay. Uh, all right. Hey. Yeah, this is one of those we have to move mirrors and change shit. And like... Yeah. I right. appreciate you just rolling with the fact that I was missing for like half an hour and not calling the police. I appreciate all that. Oh, good. I would never call the police on you. I would let Thank your crime you. go unresearched. Unresearched, you. uninspected. You know? Un... You being unsolved mystery is what I'm saying. I appreciate that. I wouldn't want to, yeah, I, I wouldn't want to just, you could, you could just be sleeping. <laughs> um, right? Yeah. I, just Friendship. like now. Mm-hmm. Yep. Oh my God. Okay. It's two, it's right. past 2 a.m. So I'm going to go to bed. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Um. All right. Have a good night, you. Fun. Yeah, we'll do. Yeah, it's, always, it's always fun to play. Um, I will, I'll be gone next Saturday, but if you want to try to plan for i know it's way ahead of time but if you want to try to plan for two saturdays from now to just finish mm -hmm. this shit mm -hmm. i'll be gone next saturday I don't know. Okay, yeah right. my, my brother has the audacity to get married so <laughs> I'll be what a fool that. by the way did you uh, have you is your brother famous yet he's working on it it depends I'm on who saying, you ask yeah i was gonna say like in the uk is he famous is he like super famous um, his music plays in, uh, I've heard his music playing in public heard multiple it together. times. I know. Yeah. yeah it, which is pretty crazy. He's um, got pub music. I yeah, love it. Yeah. Yeah. His music plays in pubs, dude. That's what I'm saying. Is he like pub famous? Should we, should I be kissing his ass more? Like what's the vibe? Here? Yeah, absolutely. You should. Okay. Good, good, good. Kiss <laughs> <sighs> all right well all enjoy right. the wedding we'll make plans we'll figure this shit out yeah 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 it's um, all good have a good rest of your day bud love you miss you me too Ooh, same oh same <laughs> um are you gonna keep streaming no i'm gonna go get this video live okay hell yeah hell yeah all right okay see you around bud bye have bye. a good one oh I don't like the frequency with which I leave people hanging because I fell asleep. It's not, that's not the vibe. I don't like that. 
Um, but I'm glad you guys enjoyed hanging out with Jesse for a little bit there. Uh, okay, let's see. Yeah, it's just not the ideal, you know? It's just not... <laughs> Avi, thank you so much for all the gifted subs at the start of stream. I appreciate it. Sevateal for the 51 months. Rat Trap for the 16. John Pirate for the 44. Empty Noise for the 58. Pajama Matt for the 61. PG Wipeout for the 55. Avi for the gifted sub to Jesse. Thank you. Pied Piper Calls for the 70. Villas Farthuk for the 40. Joseph for the 68. Patch for the 10. Lowy for the 50. Zovis for the 59. Kino Winter Wolf for the 32. Scorpy for the gifted sub. Thank you so much. Kree Gear for the 85. Mushi My Love for the 2. Mika Muka for the 78. Codename Reese for subscribing. Welcome to the Cat Gang. And Gideon for the 23. Chezzy TV for the 11. TL Geek for the 44. Phantom for the 38. Witch T for the 51. Psymonks for the 79. Panda Man, thank you so much for subscribing. Welcome to the Cat Gang. The hobo for the 29, True Heart for the 76, and It's a Trap for the 82. Thanks, guys. I appreciate. Um, let's raid Sam, my sweet love, who woke me up so that I could finish off this stream properly. Um, go say hi, spread love, spread joy. Uh, tomorrow I'll be on Godforge, and our next normal stream will be on Monday. Okay, thank you all very much. Bye-bye.